F this. F this. F this. Fuck this, Mr. White. All right. All right. So are we recording? I think so. Yep. Okay. I'm recording. Are you? Yeah. Are you really? I'm good. Where's really, really the live video at? All right. Where can you find it? I'll pull it up. All right. Um, All right. You do your thing, though. All right. Well, ladies and gentle germs, welcome, welcome, welcome. How the fuck are you? Uh, this is F this. That's right. And I'm Duff. Chante. Yeah, you are. Swanili. Swanili. Oh, that's Malcolm. And that's Malcolm. <laughs> and we also have my own Thumper, <laughs> aka Nicole Nuss. Nicolai. Nicolai. <laughs> Nicolai. Uh, running our live feed, so if you have any fucking questions, please direct them towards yeah. him. That's right. Hello, Tyler and Malcolm. Even though Malcolm's sitting right, right with us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm good. We're good to go. Good to go? All right. All right. So how the fuck are you guys? How you doing? What's up? Pretty yes. mint. Primo. Mint. Crispy. Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what a way to kick off the episode. <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah, it, it's it's been it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I think we're three weeks out, right? Since our last episode. Two two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, today is a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. 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 We don't normally do this on Sundays. We don't ever do this on the weekends. No. We always do it on weekdays. This is yeah. true. We tried to do it earlier, but we totally failed. Yeah. But so here we are. Well, we're here. <laughs> we made on, it. Guys. We made it, guys. <laughs> we made it happen. Yeah. We sat around here for a while, just making it happen. Been a while. It's yeah. been a while. All right, so, so much has happened in, a, in the last two and a half weeks. So. Oh, I know. Somebody jump on, like, just Facebook and just kind of herd people over. Okay. <clears throat> we'll herd them over, Tosh. Hello, Marvin. What up, Marvin? Hello. Hello, Neil's <laughs> father. <laughs> no, I mean, it's actually me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah Neilio. <laughs> Marvin Neilios. Yeah. Hi, Neil. Not Neil's Can father. I... No. <laughs> so if you're new to the situation and you don't know what the heck is going on, a bunch of people are sitting around the table talking right now. Yeah. This is F This Podcast, and we get together and talk about issues, fun, silly crap, and um, mental health. That's correct. So you can find us on Facebook, which we are doing currently. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and our website. Get it out, Malcolm. www.fthispodcast.com. That's www.fthispodcast.com. Neither one was it again. www.fthispodcast.com. You can find all of our videos and uh, our recordings, right? And uh, links and photos and stuff that uh, go with each episode there, and you can comment and uh, leave stuff there also. Yes, please comment, 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 ask questions, subscribe. Those we are. also wanted to tell everybody too that we um, we had several people request and put in their um, orders for shirts this mm -hmm. past couple of weeks, and we are going to be going in this week to get that <coughs> order finished up. So if there's any other stragglers that want to be in this. Uh, group of orders, then um, you guys can email us or hit us up um, and box us anywhere off and uh, tell us which ones you like. We have pictures up and sizes and stuff, and then we'll get that to you guys. And we'll, re we'll reset it up and resend those out and re-show you everything. Yeah, so. we'll get it all new and up today. Yeah. This evening. This evening. So uh, we do have some garb on hand. Uh, we do have some stickers. And some stickers. of you guys already have your stickers. And if you've called in or participated in some way, you get stickers. So share the stickers everywhere and so people know what's up with us. Yes. Right. Yes. Share, share, Spread share. Spread the word. Spread the disease. And you're the word. And welcome, Randy Williams. What up, brother? What up, brother? And you guys, we should totally be like, hey, look, that's Nick. Did we introduce Nick? We did, welcome, right? Monique. Yep. Monique's in. Yep. What up, sister? <laughs> that's that's family right there, for real. That's fam. What up, fam? What up, fam? Um. Okay. What's next? Fuck this. 
fuck this. Mm. Oh, there we go. Do we all have something to fuck? Oh. They ask this about. Fuck, we have a bunch of things to fuck. I got something. Go for it, Marco. Fuck this setup, man. This fucking took forever. <laughs> Every episode, we're dicking around with the fucking sound in the video. I mean, I think we finally got a setup that works. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, every audio. single time there's been something. Oh, it's every time. I feel like we're doing good. I, yeah. It sounds good in my head yeah. right now. Yeah. We got the audio, audio is crispy. Yeah. Um, we got we got the video. We got the video camera. We got a camera over there. Say hi. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. Um, and we're going to be wrong. taking a phone call, and we got the phone call situation. Yeah, fixed. Yeah, because yes. there's mad issues with the sound collector. There's yeah. always been mad always. issues with that sound. Something Sorry. else is going to happen next. <laughs> We're going to be in the middle of it in a power outage. Just going <laughs> to have a perfect setup. What, what is it? Is it Murphy's Law? Yeah. yeah whatever it's right. And will go wrong. That's right. Life finds a way. <laughs> Life wrong finds a way. Life uh, wrong way. Uh, wrong way. Wrong <laughs> I, I believe you're talking about our Lord and Savior. Ian. Jeff Goldblum. I think. Ian Malcolm. I think yeah, if we no. give ourselves like enough time to set up, like we were trying to aim for a five o'clock start because we thought we could get it in line, and it was just one thing after another, which was a good thing that we sort of figured it out. Yeah, and it had a little bit of a later start, you know. Unruffle our feathers and get going. Yeah, it's nice. But it's learning how to fly. We got back right. from a photo shoot. Learning how to fly before we can walk. Yeah, we decided we we're gonna eat cheesecake in the snow and freezing assholes. <laughs> we came here to do this. On the beach. That sounds amazing. On the dock. <laughs> we did. By the dock at the bay. Mm-hmm. Definitely on the. Where the watermelons grow. <laughs> I dare not go back to my home. <laughs> I dare not go. <laughs> so. Uh, and if so, I do. No. <laughs> do you have a? Do you Don't have a F? I got an F. You got one? Okay, I, we're not going to do my rant, but I got an F. You're going to do a rant later, no. right? Yes, I got a rant. What's up, uh, Rachel? What up, Rachel? So uh, my F this is that fucking roundabout. <laughs> F that Dude. fucking roundabout, right? <laughs> so didn't okay. you guys go so, through it yet? I knew no? that would be Today? Fun. Before? Lots. Yeah. 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 Too many times. Too many times. I, it's just, and it's just a, like a. I don't have a problem with it. No, no, no. It's just a work in progress. Yeah. And, and it's something that too... it's something that this 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 area has no fucking clue about. Exactly. Is why, right? Like I I learned how to drive in the states, right? I learned how to drive on a fucking freeway. I learned how to drive when there was actual traffic, not that shit that people call traffic mm-hmm. where you're waiting for like maybe a half hour. I'm talking like four hours of fucking yeah, of traffic. Yeah, horrid. So this yeah. roundabout is actually it's gonna be smart. Yeah. Once everybody just gets the hang of it, figures, and gets, it, out. figures it out, and gets going, right? But right now, F that fucking roundabout. Dude, everybody's like stopping in it, getting in it, stopping, and like it just mm. watching. It's just mm. really <laughs> shitty. The first day, there was like a local viral video of like yeah. somebody going, going the, the wrong, wrong way. way on yeah. a roundabout. Dude, that was the best. That yeah. Was like, like, it was like going what? East, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was going clockwise, and you're supposed <laughs> to go counterclockwise on it. <laughs> and it's all you guys have, all you have to do is follow it around and merge carefully and safely. Mm-hmm. Go in a circle. In a circle. Exit that's when right. it's your exit. Yeah. And use a fucking it, signal. And, and if Whoa. you have a problem, if you can't navigate it, that's the inside of the answer. Just drive around and around and around. Until, until you get balls enough to get, yeah, get yeah, out. It out. Until you grow yeah. some nuts. Don't yeah. stop. Yeah. That's right. Never stop. Stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. No, seriously, there was, there was a dude in front of me, uh, it was yesterday, and he was trying to go back to Kitimat, and he came from the, the old bridge. Yeah. And he, like, stopped. Oh. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he, like, so stopped dangerous. for he stopped for the car to come in. When that car's supposed to stop yield. and, and okay. yield for him to go through. But he stopped for that car to get into the fucking <laughs> roundabout. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you? Okay. What's up, Oliver? Okay. Oliver just popped in. Yo, what up, Oliver? What's up? Because I was telling everybody, I'm not taking stack cakes to Terrace anymore. <laughs> get them out. Like just, everybody's gonna, everybody who's ordered a cake that's stacked, your shit's getting built when I get back into town. Or yeah. it, I'm not going to <laughs> even try to be hitting my brakes with cakes in the car going mm-hmm. in that roundabout. So yeah. I don't trust anybody. No, it's just shit's And in the, in the states, there's roundabouts. I've driven through roundabout roundabouts since I've started driving as a teen. And I not freak. They don't freak me out. I've seen these adults and all these people. And I've never. I'm like, you guys never heard it's that before. You guys don't know what a roundabout is. You never seen anything or heard anything about a roundabout in your whole life. The first, the only roundabout I could think about is when I lived 
this area would be Smithers, and it's just this tiniest little yeah. 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 And and like how how often are you going down that street to go yeah. fucking check out that roundabout? And even and when you do go down there, how often are you to run into this vehicle? We should send people yeah. out there to practice. Right. <laughs> practice roundabout training is roundabout training is good. Go out there. And let's let's start let's start real simple for you fuckers. Let's let's start by walking around that roundabout. <laughs> get out of your car. Get out of your car. Walk around. Let's the make it more okay. unsafe. And everybody car. is so angry about it too. Like it's just it's so annoying how everybody is so frustrated with change. Like yeah, people are. If everybody that. would figure it out and go, everyone's gonna realize that no one's gonna need to stop. It's just gonna be constant. Yeah, just go, just go, just go. And everybody, I'm like. You I just mean, have to hope been. that no one crashes on that bridge because once that bridge is closed, you're waiting yeah, two hours. Yeah. 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 Which brings to the point that they should actually make either two bridges, two one lane bridges going across, or it should be a double lane bridge. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't keep it going. Yeah, because the situation right now is just kind of stupid. It just makes the well, talking about the, going yeah. to the East End of Terrace. The old bridge? Yeah. Through the old bridge, because yeah. if it stops and there's everybody... Do you guys see the videos or the pictures of the woman driving the wrong way? Oh, no. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was a... Or oh. going when it was not their turn. She, she thought it was two lanes, but it was a single lane, and there was That's oncoming it. traffic. Yeah. So, yeah. and then... Someone commented on that post about that person driving that that's not the first time and it happens all the time. Mm, I'm that's... like, what? How are these people licensed drivers? <laughs> like, no. like, what do you do when you see a big truck coming at you? Do you just like get out of your car and jump off the bridge or Can something? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> my legs open. My legs open. How do you back out of that? You just revert. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think I think what happened. Driver. I think what actually happened was where she was located in the bridge. It was wide enough for her to pull over, and then people were able to go around her. Oh, it was on the bend. Yeah, it was yeah. on the bend, right? Okay. Is that real? You yeah. can do that. Yeah. There's enough room. There's enough room on the bend yeah. as long as it's not a big not a, truck. Yeah, as long as it's not a fucking semi. If, yeah. if he has dualies, you're fucked. <laughs> I don't even think semis can go over that bridge. No, they can't. No, they can't. Can't. no but if a, if a truck with dualies, truck, yeah. 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 Do at least know. I thought like vehicles like, <laughs> like pulling trailers can't go through it for, for the that. same reason. So much the bed. Yeah. yeah, and the weight. Like there's a there's, there's a bypass in Texas, and I believe it's down Keith past that car wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the bypass. That's oh, we bypass. have um we have friends that work the construction, <coughs> the ones that are holding stop signs and all that. Dude, yeah. Like moving Stop people first. through, mm-hmm. and they're like straight up getting abused by people. Yeah. Like getting honked at, yelled at, screamed at, things thrown at them. And it's like, I'm just here to make sure that you guys know which way to go. And yeah. you guys are freaking freaking out. Like my, they, like my friend, she like went home crying. She didn't want to go back yeah. to work. Because people, people are so people fucked up. Suck. People suck. Yeah. And you know what? This person does not want to be standing out here in the freezing cold <laughs> rain telling you what to do. Yeah. You know? It's not like they, it's not like they're doing this for fucking fun. Yeah, it's exactly. a fucking job. They're not like, you know, they didn't get up and say, oh, I wonder how many people's uh, days I'm going to ruin by stopping today. It. Right. Right. I'm going to hold up a sign and fuck your day over. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm doing today. That's going to be a great day. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> great day to fuck people over. Ah, oh, that sounds like a great day. Oh, I'm getting so turned on. <laughs> oh, okay. there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes. I'm going to ruin right. their days. Do you have another, do you have an F? Um, yeah. So I kind of mentioned it to you guys in the chat, but I'm not going to like single out a generation for it. I'm just gonna say uh, he might he movies. might he might know because he also works in retail too. As soon as you like, as soon as you talk about it, we're gonna know automatically. Yes. Yeah. So I mean I hate it when customers when they're purchasing some like big tech shit and you know you're trying to sell them either on the extended warranty or the setup and they're like, well why can't I get that for free? I'm paying this much money for it. Dude, it's a six hundred dollar iPad. It's on sale for five hundred dollars. We're not making any money off of it, and you want us to give uh, give you our time to set it up for free? Like, dude, no, no, we're not making any money on it. I mean, I know the source has commission. We don't. And everybody thinks, oh, well, I'm buying a laptop off of you, so you're probably getting commission off of it. To be honest, dude, our store is losing money on this laptop that's on sale. But I freaking hate it when people are like, oh, well, I'm buying, I'm spending $700 or $300 on this big thing. 
you should throw something in for free. That's probably my favorite part. Favorite. My favorite part favorite. of customer service is the absolute disregard for time. Yeah. Or like absolutely. Like people absolutely. swear to God that we swing a wand around and a cake magically appears. <laughs> yeah, Do you know how much time it takes to works. bake things and how to decorate things and go to the store and find all the specific things that you need? And people will hit us up and be like, hey, can I get something tonight? And I'm like, <laughs> it's 1 p.m. What time were you trying to get this cake? And I have a life. Like, I got to pick kids up from school and all this other crap. Which I got shit to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> Take your ass to say that. Exactly. And yeah. I'm like, and there's stuff that's already planned. But, like, people will be like, oh, why is this so expensive? What's this price? You know, this costs this much and this costs this much. And I'm like, cool. I'll give you a bag of flour, a thing of eggs, and all this, and then here you go. Since, it, since it's that yeah. much, because nobody gives a shit about the time you put into things. Yeah, no, it's nobody, no, and nobody There's no importance the, of time. Yeah, and, and nobody considers the fucking, uh, you know, the art factor that we put into it. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah the, 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 like, not only does it, it it's us. Well, and the we reason why, too, like, shit. so yeah, supermarket cakes cost such and such because their product is... Pre mass produced, produced, mass produced in factory mm -hmm. sent you, and then they, they're decorated to do it. But also, the people that work in the grocery store, they have like 15, maybe 20 minutes per cake, yeah. and they have to push them out really mm -hmm. quickly. And so, that's why if you look at grocery store cakes and they look, you know, messier thrown together, mm -hmm. it's because the decorators there, it's not really their fault. They just they that's don't the have enough time, put, they get yelled at. They have to put a certain amount of cakes out uh -huh. in a day. And so, you know, that's why. Our cakes are this much, and that cake was that much because and there's then, no like love or time put into it. And then motherfucker, this is our job, dude. Like fucking, this is our job. I don't come into People your don't. fucking, yeah. I don't come into <laughs> your place of fucking business, and I'm like, hey, yeah, just give that to me for free, okay? Yeah. All right, can you do that? <laughs> yeah, I know how I know how much it costs. I went to the, I, I watched the video. I, don't think that's nice I watched, I watched the fucking YouTube video, mm -hmm. and I know how much that costs. So mm -hmm. how about, how about I give you that much and you just give it to me, okay? Hey, I don't know how to do this, so you should like, you know, do that for me for free. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, like we get so many people that come in. It's like I don't know how to do this with my phone or tablet or laptop. Like, sure, we can show you how. It'll cost money. Like, why? Like, yeah. You're taking our, one of our salesmen off the floor who's not going to be selling. So therefore, we're losing money by not by having this guy give you a free lesson. Yeah, Staples has to pay that person for the hour that they're there, so they're going to be... And then if we give this one person a free 15-minute tutorial on it, they're going to go out and tell everybody that oh, yeah. Staples yeah. will give you, you know, they'll fix your issue for free. Yeah. And yeah. that's like, no, that's not a good business model. No. Nope. <laughs> no. And, like, it's that's the thing, too. Like, we, we have to get paid. Yeah. We have to get paid. We well, This is our livelihood. Yeah. This this pays this pays the bills. This pays for rent. This pays for things that for yeah. us to fucking survive. It, you know, it's, it's not it's not yeah. just us too. I mean, it's for everybody else. That, you know, maybe those like a uh, local electronic shop that exactly. that you trust over some of the big <laughs> bigger businesses like Staples or the Source, and you prefer to go there because you feel like you want to support local. A lot of times they'll be a little bit more expensive, but I mean, you want to support local. You want. Um, people that you can trust so like if, if you're not gonna pay what they what they're asking for then you're gonna like contribute to um, them shutting down because exactly. like, that's their livelihood that's their bread and butter and you're asking for that service for you yep exactly. and that's another thing yeah. too is everybody's complaining about Amazon being a horrible company to work for and all that stuff <laughs> but everybody's ordering online because people aren't supporting the local businesses and everyone's bitching and crazy. Mm. And then everybody who works in freaking retail but hates their freaking lives. That's different though. Um, mm. There's actually a big thing right now about Amazon working people in other countries mm -hmm. and they actually have anklets on them and it tells them when they get out of their assembly line. Yeah, dude, yeah. I read that. That's it's crazy. so crazy. That's, that's it's another insane. level, man. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's level. See, like, like mm -hmm. on on one end you have locals, yeah. right? Like we were just talking <coughs> about, and yeah, the source is exactly the same. Like yeah. you're you're not gonna, so you you get an uh, automatic twelve month warranty with any company, yes. any brand in a store that you buy the product from. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, if 
yeah, you want that extended warranty. Sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes yeah. it's not. You get something worth over four hundred dollars. Yeah, get the replacement on it. But like, right. but no one's gonna replace that product for free. Yeah. Because who's paying all those workers making your product for you? Who's paying exactly. the people yeah. on the floor? Right. Amazon's another story because those people get paid peanuts and yes. that crazy story that I heard. I don't know if it's completely true. I or heard not, that too. But but yeah, that's that's definitely. We, we totally think shopping local is it. That's it. You know what I mean? And there's the convenience of buying things online and it being able to get things online that you can't get here and stuff yeah. like that. Of course, you know what I mean. But we, you know, we try our best. But that's the thing hmm. is if you want to pride yourself on supporting local and you want to say things like that, then support local. Yeah. Not just buying everything local, but you need to treat the people who are in these stores. With freaking respect, yeah, <laughs> you know, let everybody go and work these jobs with dignity. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? And shout out to everyone else who uh, just came in. Yes. All right. Like, uh, you know, lots uh, of people. Yeah. Shout out to we got uh, Scott, Annie, Michelle, and Blair. Yo, know, what up? What up? Two we? Also, <laughs> Peter, Nate, William, Michelle, and Tristan. All right, excellent. excellent. Nice. nice. All right. Welcome, guys. Anybody else have any uh, F this? How about you, man? Any uh, F this? Well, my F this is um, um, F big corporations who think they can step on little people like us. Yeah. Local businesses. So mine's just right there. Mm. And for the very first time in my uh, cake career, so what, 10 years? I said no, and I stood up for myself, and I had like a panic attack over it because somebody wanted a very, very, very large order, and then they didn't want to pay for it. They wanted to act like they were going to pay mm. for it, and didn't pay for it, flaked and out. they flaked on us, and so we flaked on them. And when they came to to ask where their order was, I proceeded to tell them that Eat a dick, not only are you not getting your order, please take us off any vendor list you or this company has. Yeah. And, uh, and that, was dead, that, that was that. It'll be really was, funny. Fuck you. It'll be really funny is if you made like a little rejection cake. Right. Right. And that it just had a so big funny. dick on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, there you go. I'm like, here you go. We'll we'll just give you this for your time. So. Oh my god. Yeah. And you know, I was very, very um, respectful <laughs> and professional about the whole situation. I really was. I tried my best, but I couldn't help but sit there going, "Oh my god!" You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I felt like I felt like I was like, "There's this really big dog," and I just kicked him in the nuts and ran away. <laughs> I was scared. I was scared. I never, I never do something like that. Okay? You're what else are you gonna do when you kick a dog in the I never, never I've never done anything like that. I take, I'll take less than orders and stuff like that because I have a hard time saying no. But I couldn't, mm. I couldn't let them treat us the way they were. They were being rude, and the people on the phone, yeah. they were rude and bitchy to Christopher yeah. and rude and bitchy to me, saying sideways snarky things. And I'm just like, no, I don't care where you work or who you are. You can't treat us like that. You know, like when you give out your business cards to people, you're like, you want them to buy your product, right? Yeah. And you need to make business cards that have just a fucking dick on it and says, eat me. <laughs> and that's where you give it to the shitty customers that do shit like that to you. Just give it to them and walk away. Let's see. It's Eat funny, it. right? It's going to be awesome. Eat a bunch of pigs. That was my answer. I, I said F you to someone <laughs> in real life for the first time and nice. stood my ground. And it was scary. But that was it. Let's hear some shit to the next people in the room. Let's play. Let's go. You know. It was, a, right. it was a lot of money too, guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, a lot of money. Stupid checks. Oh, man. That was it's all good. Look. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Scott George said dick cake. Dick cake. Dick cake. Dick cake. Dick. We should just have dick cake like on hand, on hand at all times. For that, right? So when just people are dick. Just bake them, have them frozen. Yeah. Too, I'll wrap them up. Wrap them up. I think they I think should be made of the most horrible fucking tasting things in the entire world, too. <laughs> just like, fuck you, eat Fruit that cake. dick. Fruitcake. <laughs> oh, Christmas fruitcake is the worst. <laughs> People give that to you, they're easy. You make it a giant <laughs> edible, too. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you yeah, later, motherfucker. You'll wake up in a puddle. <laughs> You'll wake up in a puddle of sweat on the fucking bathroom floor. That's right. Nick, do you have an F? You gotta have something. Uh, 
F the police and get him out. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this sounds like there's a story behind this one. Yeah. So my friend got pulled over. Mm. He was only speeding by 10. Oh. And the police officer grabbed his clipboard and threw it onto his uh, onto his hood. And uh, he was just not acting very appropriate. Just the his attitude. Officer? Yeah. So like throwing his keyboard on, on his car front and everything like that which possibly could scratch the vehicle. Oh, and yeah. then um, when he gave him attitude, he said, well, fine, I'll get it towed. So he got his vehicle towed <gasps> and then oh, left shit. left the keys in his door while it was towed and it was running. Damn. So um, he had to go and uh, complain about him at the main RCMP office. Well, that's good that he did that. Yeah. Okay. He had to go get the keys out of the car and stuff too, right? Oh, yeah. Fuck that part. And he, okay. and, an inconvenience. And because of that too, he had a $700 fine. Yeah. 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 So I mean, he was, seriously, he was right angry. Like, like, seriously, go do your fucking job. Do your fucking job. Do your fucking job. Why are you, why are you pulling me over for Everybody fucking Everybody's just kind of making dollars, it right? right now and nobody needs an extra $700 towards something that is nothing. You know what I mean? It's, it's a, what it is is just a thing of fucking inconvenience. Especially when it's and, like this time of year, it's yeah. holiday season. Yeah, that, yeah. that's that, that could have been like you know somebody's dude. That's like family several Christmas, Christmas presents. Yeah, yeah. Like, it that's is. And it's, not, it's not even it's not even yeah. that. It's that's I can go and celebrate with my family somewhere. Mm -hmm. I can go and take a trip somewhere. That's a that's a that's a fucking big hole in a fucking bucket. Yeah, it's a it's, fucking car payment. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's a bill. Somebody's rent. Exactly. You know what I mean? And then, and then, uh, you know, people like us who are good fucking tax paying motherfuckers, we pay for this guy's job. Rent fucking. We pay for his goddamn salary. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is what he's fucking doing. And I, you know, okay, so this is we're on this whole topic. I have an issue with 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 random random license checks. Yeah, yeah. I have a big issue with random license checks. Like when because you have five or six fucking police officers on the side of the fucking road doing a random fucking license check or insurance check or a fucking winter tire check. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, winter tire check, cool. Sure. You might Same have a motherfucker. Sure. You might have a motherfucker on the road who has bald fucking tires and, and caused an accident. Hurt himself or somebody else. All right. The whole license thing? Mm. The whole insurance thing? Mm. It's a little. It's a little. It's a little, mm, I, I'm just like, you have other issues that you guys don't ever fucking deal with. Like, let's say a girl gets raped and she runs up to a police officer and this police officer just goes, oh, this is just domestic violence. And then because she gets belligerent, she gets put in a fucking can. Which I is have literally, that happened. That, is happened. that has That's happened. That's the actual story. Yep. That has happened. You know, these rape cases that happen and the cops are like, we can't do anything about it. You know? And it's like, fuck you, but you can fucking waste my fucking dollars that I fucking pay for your fucking salary on the side of the fucking road? Yes, I have my shit. And a big and the Fs, man. Three Fs. And, F Fs. <laughs> and a huge part of that, too, is they have a quota. Yeah. Well, no, there yeah, shouldn't be a quota. Yeah. You should do your job <laughs> as many times as something happens, not just a quota. Oh, yeah. I get to go so home now. quota thing is a legit thing. Now. So they yes, say, yes, they have to meet a quota. That's why shit's like every year. Yeah. Like, they do. It's a thing. Yeah. It's a thing. They do. It's a, yeah. It explains why. Yeah. Yeah. It was like monthly. Yeah. So like at the end so, of the month. Well, certain things are monthly, but also certain things are yearly. Yeah. And yeah. that's what. That's why a few months ago they were all over the place doing checks mm -hmm. at the very entrance of Kibbutz. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And it just really sucks too. It just causes so much anxiety. Like I get it when they're searching for something, someone, and they're looking for someone, and they're trying to protect people and all that. That's you know, and yeah. they do things that are appropriate. It's fine, but the whole that shit wastes your day. You're sitting around waiting and all that, and then you have to wait, and you're freaking freaking out, like you know. You're like, oh fuck, I have a crack in my windshield. Yeah, I'm like, like crap. Am crack I gonna get towed, or I have to stay here because I got a crack in my windshield? Right. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. And the kids get scared too. Like, oh, are we gonna get in trouble? I'm like, no, we're not getting in trouble. Yeah. I'm just driving through. They're making sure That's... everyone's driving. I'm always like, no, it's not. They're just making sure we're safe. But really, they're just wasting our time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that. Yep. All right. What's next? <laughs> I like that. Well, okay. So we talked about F this. Um, I think the next one will be an urban word. Oh, oh right. urban word. Word of the day. All right, so the urban one is our day. 
Heart surgery. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See, we got to address that too, man. Uh, anybody out there is very artistic in the musical uh, oh, yeah. field. Make us a jingle. For yeah, us. some write some shit. jingles. We would love that. That'd be so, so good. We'll, we'll, we'll just pay you in like stickers and t-shirts and shit. shit. And cake. We'll, we'll make it happen. I'll we'll make you a dick cake. <laughs> I'll give you a day. I'll give you a hug. High five. High five. Fucking high five hugs. Kiss on the kiss. I could make you a jingle. Out. Kiss on the yeah. lips. Hey. Yeah. 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 See. All right. We started with DJ right. Thumper. We're gonna make us a jingle for last. Yeah. Fuck yeah. We got several segments. Yeah. And, um, we'll go over them with you, and then you can decide. What kind of jingle you want to make if you want to make one? That's okay. right. That's Sounds good. good. All right, we'll give you we'll give you all the props to the people out there that do that. You get all the publicity. We'll give you mad respect for that shit. <laughs> but fucking, that's it. That's right. Good. We'll good. respect you. And it's, and it's solid fist bump. It's solid all fist the bump. knuckles touching at the same time. <laughs> and I promise to wash my hands before I do that. I'm not. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put my my fist somewhere nice and dirty. And Stop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the everyone word of the day today yes. is helicopter. What are your thoughts? Helicopter. Oh, I already know this one. I think I have an idea of what this is. <laughs> It is. Mike and Miri make a porno, man. <laughs> oh! There you go. That's what I was that movie that explains exactly the whole thing. Exactly. Make a porno. Yeah. Oh, it's Zach. Zach. Yeah, Zach. I thought it was Mike. Zach. Okay. Zach. Well, so, okay, there might have been it's an old movie. movie. So, okay, well, everybody gets a rough idea then, right? Of what? What movie? the helicopter is? Oh, yeah. The helicopter? What's a helicopter? That's when you make your boot in your swing. Yep. In a right. circle. Yeah. You make a yeah. circle. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No man, you try to fly away. It's a fucking, it's a, it's a bird in the sky. It's a, <laughs> I know that, man. But that's what a helicopter. Is. I know so that. Is that like when you're, like you're laying in the back, you make your wiener do that. No, yeah, do, do the, the helicopter. Like, and it's then like, it makes sounds like <laughs> it's made of metal. It's got propellers. <laughs> yeah, that's a helicopter. Yeah, but men do that too. Yeah, how do you know we don't have you know metal penises spinning around and allow us to fly away? Noise. Lucky you. So yeah, you guys, you want to make a big thing? We have a winner here. This whole fucking table. Transformer. Mm-hmm. Were we were right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, that's the first. I think that's the first time everybody got it right. I just picked one. I I, I was gonna do a uh, pussy clap, blood clap. Yeah, because it's the like same same thing. Gross. Gross. Yeah, gross. That's right. So yeah. there it is. Everyone wear the thing. It's the helicopter. <laughs> Just like immature boys. Digging it. Yep. <laughs> That's my dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think I'm gonna bring up the Cybertruck. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna bring up the Cybertruck under okay. my Shantaism. What is this? So we're, gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about weird crap, and I want to talk about the Cybertruck and how I want one. It's <laughs> so crazy. And um, yeah, Elon Musk came out with their new electric truck. It looks like something out of a video game. It does. I was looking at that too. I was telling you, it looks like they took some fucking sheet metal and just banged it together. And it's <laughs> yeah, it sure does. And you know what? Um, he posted it. Or he he went live with it, right? And then everybody was sharing the memes regarding how ugly it is. And he did no marketing for <coughs> this at all. He spent no money on marketing, marketing this truck. He let the world do it for him. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Oh, any publicity is good publicity. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I just I just love that guy. Unless you're Bill Cosby. Oh yeah. And now uh, and now I want one. And I think I think you want a Bill Cosby? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she wants an Elon Musk. Yeah. She has Elon Musk. She has Oh, we're talking about how he's the Tony Stark of our day. Yeah. Um, getting there. Well, looking more like, you know, Bruce Wayne because that Cybertruck looks like the. Tumblr. That's true. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about that in everyone's opinion yeah, that because it's so fun. There's like all kinds of attachments because you can get like a. It's definitely got the flamethrower. Like right? a tent I mean, on the was back. Was last year? Yeah. yeah, the not a flamethrower. The not a flamethrower. Not, not a flame. He yeah. sold with a hundred thousand of those. Yeah. yeah, it was insane. Like it was a not a flamethrower. It's, it's amazing. Just, he could just he could be like I'm gonna fart in a bag and he will sell. It. <laughs> I'll sell a million. Which, what's funny is that that's, a, that's just what he does. He's like, well, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do it. 
Yeah, and he I don't just give does a shit it. what anyone says. No, he just does it. He does it for the memes. <laughs> <laughs> he said that too. <laughs> he tweeted that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just did it for the memes. And then my other thing that I've been sitting on is um, about the world ending in 2012. Oh. And I know I usually do these funny things, like make you guys think and laugh, but I thought this was so freaking bizarre. And um, the whole thought is that the world ended in 2012 and we're just kind of living in this weird, bizarro, purgatory world right now. And you think about all the weird shit that's been going on since 2012. Like if you would have said, yeah, we're going to have President Trump be our president back in 2011 <laughs> and that everybody was going to basically be living on their phone sharing memes all day and the, like all this weird shit would you believe it back in Mandela 2011 it's really kicked no. off around then a little after that um, yeah exactly and that's exactly what they talk about in this article i was reading i was it was probably like two o'clock in the morning and i was like laying in bed reading this guy's he's talking about all these things and how they were saying about the um the Mayan calendar ending in 2012 and all these other things and then he was like yeah if you look up the conspiracy online about the world ending in 2012 you can't find anything about it and there was a whole thing about it wow. yeah it's like really weird it's Sounds just like a Mandela it's one of those thought things like yeah. it's a thought triggering thing and I want everyone to like think about it and then mm. go and see like go look for it go google yeah. around go on facebook and go see the different videos and stuff because it's like what the hell yeah it's just weird like that a lot of things have changed since 2011 and there's a lot of weird things that go and fit into it and it's just really weird i read the whole thing i was waiting for probably about like a half an hour yeah. about it and i was just like this is fucking weird <laughs> i'm totally gonna tell everybody about it <laughs> so you guys I, look it up, look about, look it up about our, the world ending in 2012, and so, how we're basically like living in a bizarro version of so our since, life. Well, since so since the world did end, but we're like in a well, simulation. Now. Yeah, I was, yeah. Just, I was just gonna just say like that. Matrix. Our consciousness yeah. like got a chance to go live into a simulation. That's all exactly simultaneously. It. That that that, or we are a simulation mm -hmm. of something else. We are in like the matrix now. Huh? We are we are something else, a simulation. We went from one so, matrix to another matrix. Yeah. So we what we are is a, a total recall effect. Yeah. We are we are a recall. We're, yeah, uh, we're we are, we are all we are is a simulation of some creature's fucking fantasy about living a life. Mm -hmm. You know. So you just 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 we're just like about that. Like the video this game is, this is, is, Yeah. Seriously, this playing is, exactly. Us. Seriously, this is this is this is my fantasia. When she told me all that, I sat sat there and I thought about her and I was like, they're they're. Uh, on Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan's podcast, he had, he had Elon, Elon yeah. on there, and, he, and this was one of the things he talked about was was our actual existence. Do we actually exist? And Elon was like, "No, we are a simulation." Yeah. And I was just sitting there, I was like, "What the fuck?" You know, I and I'm like, and I'm in charge of it, right? Exactly. And then he, dumped, he, he dives back out again after. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He, he goes. He goes into his he's like, space oh car. He goes and travels around the world in his fucking space car. To us anime nerds, there's this thing in a popular anime that's sort of like the Matrix. But this villain wants to achieve this thing in a world of ninjas, and all these other ninjas are trying to stop this powerful ninja from uh, doing what's called the Infinite Sukunomi. I think it's, a, it's something like that. But basically. He erects this really large tree that cocoons everybody, and everybody begins to like dream about their ideal world. About like, and they don't know that they're in it, and the tree is like draining their life and and whatnot. That's it, how it should be. We owe trees a lot. Because I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. totally right there too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, this is what we get. <laughs> But then, so in his yeah, in his um, in his post here, it says uh, there's an old cliche argument that nothing's felt right since 2012, and he said I agree with this. Maybe it's something to do with growing up, getting older. But ever since then, it seems like the world descends more and more into chaos each day, and time even feels faster. But when he said that, I was thinking about um, this man that I know who was explaining to me the 
the circuit, like a circle going inwards. And as we get older, the circle goes smaller and smaller and smaller, right? And so I feel like just because we're getting older, time does go by faster. There's never enough hours in the day. I think so. I agree. Okay. Well, that's like that meme that I saw earlier at uh, some point this year or last year, but it was like, it was something that's similar to what you said there. It was like, sure, the world didn't end in 2012, but have we all really felt alive since then? No. I feel like we're just <laughs> fucking rolling with the punches. Yo, what's up to Belva, Brandon? Cheryl. That's what, and that's what's funny about Peter, what you just said. Is in here it says Fred. there's Wanda. there's some sort of calamity happening Wanda. almost daily. Mass shootings only stay in the headlines for like 12 hours now. Do we all die and go to hell? I don't know. Hey, I don't really here. believe that, but some people do. Maybe we're in a similar situation to the characters in The Good Place. You guys watch that show? Yeah, I watched a bit of it. <laughs> and you're just like, yeah. it's just like, a, it's so weird. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> I mean, we had clowns, you know, murderous, scary clowns in, what, 2015 or 2016? Yeah. Everybody's favorite gorilla died in 2016. Like, Just man, horrible we, things? Yeah. One thing after another. Trump being president. Trump being president. <laughs> <laughs> what on that Star list. Wars taking a dive. It's just oh, yeah. down well, low. It's on the up, up and up now with Mandalorian. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's oh, in the, that's oh, for oh. another subject later on. That's, that's for later on. Yeah. All right, and so let's let's carry on. So that's I just wanted to bring that up because I really wanted everyone to basically leave the situation going. What the hell did she say? I'm gonna look up 2012. I want to make my own opinion on the subject. So maybe you guys don't care about conspiracies and all that stuff, but I was seriously thinking, sitting there going, "Well, what the hell are we doing with our lives? We're not really doing anything. We're just sitting here in this weird, bizarre world." So there you go. What's that? Who's that? No idea. That's not me. That is not me. Is that totally me? Is that it? Yeah, it's me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's me. That's my Shantayism for this week is uh, did the world end in 2012? And who's buying a Cybertruck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying a Cybertruck. Yeah. Dude, they're so cheap. I want to put a turret on. How much are they? They're like, for their lower battery model, it's like 58000 in comparison to a luxury pickup truck that you buy now, which you're paying anywhere up from seventy to fucking hundred thousand dollars. Also, it's a vehicle that doesn't take fuel. Right. So think about that. And then their 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 higher end of the battery, it's <laughs> five hundred miles per battery. Okay. Life. So that's um, you know seven eight hundred fucking kilometers. And we mapped it too. We went and looked at all the charging <laughs> stations to see how far we could get. Like yeah. if we were traveling with one of these vehicles. Where would we charge it and, overnight? Yeah. Where would we stop and all that? And then we're like, they're everywhere. They're yeah. everywhere. I'm like, shit, can you imagine not buying, not buying gas anymore? Yeah. That would no rock fuel. so hard. I fucking hate getting gas. <laughs> yeah. No fuel. Especially because gas is so damn expensive. Yeah. And I'm on all those kid amount buy and sell pages and like argument pages and stuff. And one of the main things that anybody is saying is how they're not buying gas in kid amount. They haven't bought gas in kid amount in months. Because of the price. So Everyone bad. buys gas and tears. So bad. It's crazy. It's crazy. Mads. Mad Mads. And that's that, guys. All right. Think about it. All right. Victor, so says, Victor <laughs> says he already owns one. It's a Ford and it needs recalls every two months. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, brother. My truck's been in the puppy shop for like a month now. There you go. Dude, our car fucking died this week. Yeah. We're living on rental. Well, here's the dying vehicles, man. Hey. And the time when you need them the most. I hate cars. Fuck the car. I'm going to get a, a helicopter. That was a bit newsy. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. The car is. So, <laughs> are you ready? I don't know. Are you going to give it to her? I don't know. Give it to him? I don't know. Give her. <laughs> You're not ready? I don't know. Give yeah, it hard. I mean, I'm, can... I'm always I'm always looking. We can get nerdy if you want. Yeah, let's get nerdy. Talk nerdy to me. Talk All right, nerdy. To nerdy. I want to talk, talk about it. So I alluded to earlier that uh, Star Wars is on the up and up now. Yes. Partially, like, just solely on the back of Baby Yoda and the Mandalorian. <laughs> 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 Entirely <laughs> on the back of Baby Yoda. 
and, and you know the whole the whole franchise, the whole everything is heavier than that rhino. Oh, the spoilers! Right, oh, spoilers <laughs> alert! Spoilers if you haven't watched it. Uh, plug your ears, walk away, come back though. Go Please buy you some Disney Plus. It's eight ninety nine a month, and then watch chapter one. Station your smart TV on the internet. Cool, get it up, check it out. Yeah, all the or, Disney cartoons, old and new. You get. Marvels, plug cartoons and movies. You get Star Wars, everything Star Wars, and yeah. even The Simpsons. And it's and divvied up, right? It's yeah. divvied up with classic Disney, Pixar, Marvel, yeah. um, National Wars. Geographic. Dude, it's, it's so it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. And it's not even just like Star Wars movies. It's yeah. all the cartoon shows, all of yeah. the, yeah. and then all the National Geographic stuff is super fun and awesome. The Disney too. channels. We we seriously sat up watching. What was that show we were watching? Oh. Yesterday? Yeah. Oh, it was on YouTube. It was, yeah. uh, oh, it was on YouTube. Brave <laughs> Wilderness. Yeah. Oh, it's funny, yeah. Nick, because Ryan was the one that showed me that and talked to me about it in first, and the, the bugs singing the guy. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, anyways, that's off, off, off topic, but it's awesome, guys. There's everything from, like, when we were kids oh, 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 and before. Oh, so, uh, with Star Wars 2, um, they kind of announced that the run time for Rise of Skywalker is... A Approximately two hours and twenty minutes. That's, not bad. Um, That's pretty good. I'm cautiously optimistic. Cautiously optimistic about this movie. I mean, they have, to, they have to end something. Yeah, and they have to end it good. And so right. and everything, everything's coming to a head here. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like wrapping up here, so it's going to be massive. So, so, they, so they can create more. There's yeah. a lot of plot leaks, like left, yeah. right, and center now. I just heard, as the movie is is getting closer to release, and I think that's like what's that? Two three weeks from now. Yeah, yeah. Was it December twenty sixth uh, or twenty fifth? Is it on Christmas Day this year? Uh, December twentieth. Okay. Yeah. So it's like five days before Christmas. Yeah. So that's about yeah. almost just under three weeks away. Yeah. Hey, Swan yeah. Neely, I don't know if you know this, but Fred just said apparently the Gargoyles director is going to do a remake of the series if people keep binging it. What? Oh, damn. I gotta. I gotta. Contribute to that. He's scratching his arm. Oh, you scratched something. You more of that shit. Y'all got any more of that hmm. gargoyles? <laughs> <laughs> I need my fix, man. They're totally getting a read on what everybody's watching, and yeah. everybody got super stoked. It's, like, I was like, X Men? All the X Men? Do you know what's weird? Do you know what's weird? <laughs> Dancing around the house. Do you know what's weird? <laughs> you know what's, weird? <laughs> what's funny about this whole situation was that the public vote. That happened with Sonic, changed mm -hmm. Sonic. Yeah. The public vote that happened with, uh, what is it, Cats, the, the movie? Oh. They, the, the public vote went against that, so they went and redid that. Right? So they're doing, redoing all this. I'm like, why the fuck can't we do that with money? Cats look Can we so please weird. just fucking have a public vote weird. about, I'll watch it. Money being a little bit less valuable. Mm. Like, everybody should be a good pop. We should all just be living here. Nobody should be greater. Nobody should be less. We all should be just excellent to each other. Everyone be excellent. Just so fucking be excellent to each other. So it's just it's just funny that that for entertainment, we all had a fucking say, and they fucking listened, so they yeah. changed. So and, 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 and the then, thing with with Sonic though was that um, the developers or not developers, but people behind the CG and stuff, they originally wanted to do be really true to it, but right. like some executives were like. No, make it this way. Right. The more, you know, the great value. Cool? <laughs> so, so then, so then, the people talked and shot all over that executive's yeah. idea, and then went back to the original that it was supposed to be. Yeah. But they're doing the same thing with cats. Yeah. So I'm just like, let's just collectively do that with other things. Let's just slowly let's start. Let's make the world great. We tried to. Like, we tried to with Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, 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 see, I'm, on, I'm on the other side of the fence here. Why? I'm on the other side you don't want I people. I feel to... like this is giving the people too much power over other people's art. Right. So this is a bunch of people that are dumping millions and millions of dollars into these projects. They dump so much money into the Game of Thrones series, and then these people were unhappy with it, so they shat all over it. And meanwhile, these guys they put so much effort into it, so much of their hard time work went into it. Right. And just to have it shat on, and people say, "Oh, it's not good enough. I can be better." I have a rebuttal. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. I have a rebuttal. <laughs> no, I totally don't agree. And I appreciate it. These people that. don't owe you shit. No. <laughs> they don't fucking owe you shit. They put the product up. If you don't like it, fuck off. 
don't don't watch it. Exactly. Yeah, They're don't just fucking watch it. Just watch something else. And I like it. See, so we have we have the opinion of both sides and why, yeah. and that's good. Yeah. So, okay. I, I get I was, what you say. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm, I I'm of the part that wasn't I'm fully not, feeling Game of Thrones ending, but you know what? I like it. I, I, I like it. I fucking like enjoy it. And there's been a bunch of other stuff coming out. Yeah, but but you know what? But we're not to be. Yeah, my, my my thing isn't isn't the art about it. My my thing is like let's let's direct this towards something else. Let's direct this something more 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 productive for us as a, as a human race. Like environmental, ethical, and political. No cost of living. Of just yeah. human, just yeah. humanity. Just fucking humanity. I don't give a fuck about your politics. I don't I don't give a fuck about your ethics, your morals, your fucking stance on religion. Fuck all of that. What I'm saying is just fucking be excellent and human to each other, and that's it. Because that's it. In the end, all you are is human. The very basis. I am man. doing my fucking duck rat right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, no. So it just came out. I had to find it. I had to find that place, and here's my place. Anywho. So <laughs> there it so, is. So leaving the subject of Star Wars now, moving over to oh, no, Warner we still Brothers. Talk, we still got to talk about Yoda. Okay. Yeah. Sure. No, 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 no. You mean, baby you mean, Yoda. You mean the child? Yoda. No, 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 Yoda. Why Yoda? Okay. Because we haven't really talked, delved into the whole idea the about his species and his race mm -hmm. and how it's so big, mm -hmm. right? Like they know, like, uh, you, like we were, we were, we were. Race. There was only two species. There is two characters that are of that species, and then that there was not, <laughs> not. I don't know what, what, where what but, their home planet is called, or. Anything. But you have all these other species and all these other fucking. It, it, obscure characters where they have this entire rundown of what planet they fucking came from and you know whose dick they sucked and what <laughs> vagina they fucked you know what I mean you have this entire rundown of all these that. I want to see all this sex stuff. <laughs> I want to see those tentacles man. there's other you ways to do that you're an 80% of a fan base <laughs> <laughs> but that's <laughs> just us dude <laughs> just you just stop I want to see that shit I think I was just being you I want to see Jabba the Hutt blowing a load man you know <laughs> Speaking of Jabba the Hutt, okay. No, I'm in the minority here. Speaking of Jabba the Hutt, I saw one of the cutest fucking pictures of Jabba the Hutt today, and it was baby Jabba the Hutt, hmm. just like baby Yoda. He looked like larva. He looks like a cute baby. He looked Jabba like the a Hutt. maggot. He looks so. Cute. <laughs> he looked like he was like sticking his tongue out and saying, "Don't be." He looked like a girl. So <laughs> <That's what> he, <laughs> looked like. <laughs> he looked like. A, I think it was uh, the greatest thing. He looked like a great value version of Slimer. <laughs> <laughs> he's so no, he's yeah. no slime. Aw, yeah. no name for him. He's, 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 no, he's, just he's got no glow, no slime. Just yeah. fresh out of the shower slime. Just straight out of the vagina. So Did what's you? the uh, next one? Yes. So moving over to Warner Bros. Uh, so with the success of Joker, uh -huh. they're now looking at the possibility of doing all these other movies now, not just you know ones that are grounded in realism. So they want to do one on Flash, and they want to do one on the Green Lantern Corps, among other uh, movies. And what did I say? When we watched the Disney thing, when they were announcing all the new projects and things like that, yeah. and I was like, wouldn't it be so amazing if we had something else with Green Lantern? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, nice. they heard me. They heard yeah. me. Somebody's always listening. Somebody Can knows. someone please fix the Green Lantern sister. situation? Um, you know what it is? It's I'm Google Home and Lexa. Yeah, it's these mm. guys. He's like, I, your mic is always on. So he's yeah. All, all that time. thing, you're in for, man. Yeah, all the time. The Warner Brothers. Yeah, that's it. Throw you in the algorithm. Three lanterns, but we're going to do it. That's right. The minute you step on your cell phone, you're giving up all your race of privacy. Okay? <laughs> Social media. Yeah. There is no yeah. such thing as privacy on this phone. You think you're sending your pussy and dick pics Stop. secretly? <laughs> you're not. not happening. Not a secret. No, secret. there's 50 million people out there with your dick right now. Nice. <laughs> I hope they enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Well, so. unless you know you're in the picture, your face is in the picture with it. That's what you do. You put the camera by your face. Oh my gosh! <laughs> unless, unless, you're like, unless you like, unless you have like a defining birthmark on it or something, right? <laughs> or your fucking tattoo, your name on it. <laughs> then you just like take down your pants. She's like, oh, I've seen that. I've seen that. Before. I know that. Thing. I know who you are. It's a viral. I know where you come from. Oh my goodness. Oh, fucking bad. So, so what was Warner that? Brothers. Warner Brothers, yeah. I mean, Green Lantern Corps <laughs> would be great to do because yes. uh, the comics, the 
Like they have, it could be a really good space opera in the vein of like um, Star Wars. Like Star yeah. Wars is categorized as a space opera. Definitely. And like the Green Lantern comics in the last 15 years have like well, really good stories. Uh, well, you listen to the score of fucking Star Wars. Yeah. It, it's, it's a, yeah. So doing a, you're doing it in the realm of fucking Green Lantern, Green Lantern core. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's gonna be so squishy. What? You ever listen to any of the Star Wars soundtracks? There's no modern music playing or or it's anything like that. It's, it's all going like back to music. Okay. Oh, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll get back to this after you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think I wanted to talk about the Irishman. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we just watched that. Oh, shit. I haven't gotten oh. to watch it yet. Okay, okay. We, we'll, we'll keep it spoiler free. free. No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to just say describe the trailer. It was long. It was and it worth it. It was I, long. It wasn't to me. I mean, to me, it, it wasn't his best. Fucking best. get out of here. It's Scorsese's best. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It wasn't, to Go me, home, it man. wasn't his best. Neil, you're drunk. Go on, Neil, you're drunk. Go no, yeah. drunk with you, power. I was going to okay. say. <laughs> Whoa! Skank. <laughs> Someone's taking oh. over soon. Here. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I have a hot take here, and I'm just gonna say, I believe the movie is about ten to fifteen. It came out ten to fifteen years too late, mm. and primarily is because I believe Scorsese had a vision with uh, these actors, and he wanted to use them in the flashbacks. So the movie is set. Prim- most of it's set in like. It starts from 1950 and then goes through to like the 2000s, and he uses de aging um, technology with it. There, I was totally gonna say he yeah. pulled a freaking Star Wars. He, he was really just, he was he just really waiting to pull out the movie when they had the technology. Like what they did with Sam it. Jackson and Will Smith. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, with the Nero? No. See what? Um, why not? not I don't great. know. I mean, I don't want to watch. There's that. one scene where <laughs> <laughs> De Niro, he is just De Niro. Like gets into a physical alteration, and you could just, even though he looks young, he moves like an old person in yeah. it, and that just kind of like <laughs> my immersion <laughs> way out. Of it. Just like, it gross me right out. <laughs> <laughs> my that immersion was just was fucking disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, when I have to move like an old man. <laughs> I, I like the acting in it. I mean, the, the three leads in it were really good. Oh, like Pesci. Pacino, De Niro, they were, they were, you know, as usual, right? Yeah. But it's a Scorsese like, thing. I got a theory that this is like their swan song. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what exactly what we were for the yeah. Yeah. We were, That's exactly what we were talking about. Mm-hmm. This is their, their big hurrah. Yeah. 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 This movie closes out, man. Yes. Yeah. You're going to see these motherfuckers dropping. Now. Yeah. And it's sad and it sucks, but it's reality. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, it is. Yeah. And it, we were just, I know, we were talking about how, like, where do you see guys like this again? And the only actor that I can think of where I can see this happening with is Tom Hardy. Mm-hmm. Maybe, Maybe like Killian uh, Murphy. Like yeah. the next pack of next pack of fucking gangster Dude, dudes. Brad Pitt could be in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio is already in there. He's already in there. Leonardo is already in good. Jason Statham, like Scorsese, Matt right hand man, uh, Matt oh, Matt, Matt Damon, Damon, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, and then you have Martin Mulder. Mark Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg, so, Walking okay. Phoenix. But I think the top, the, the top of the of that pile is is fucking is Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, yeah. Tom Hardy plays one tough ass motherfucker, yeah. and, and 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 he's such a sweetheart. Yeah. He just loves that dude, guy. Fucking uh, Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> in Blood Diamond. Yes, he was he was a he badass in that movie. Oh, yes. Suave, suave, yeah. badass. The Departed. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. That's okay. Here's you another heart. You just you just heard him. <laughs> you just heard him fucking grab his nipple right now. You yeah. can't you really right? hit the table. So, <laughs> here's my other hot take. To me, The Departed is for Satan's best film. It is over Goodfellas. I'm saying it. Whoa. Oh, you shut. Whoa. You shut I'm Whoa. saying it. Whoa. Whoa. Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Fuck off. The Departed okay, okay. is one of my top five movies of all time. It's Ray Liotta, man. I don't know. Yeah. It's hard. But, it's, mean, it's hard like a porno. I, I would put hard. it right up there with it, but I wouldn't put it above it. No, no I, it's 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 it's, 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 it's a it's a par. I, it, I Pesci. 
That's your yeah. fucking killer now. Matt Damon, the way Leonardo it DiCaprio, it's Jack it. Nicholson, <laughs> Alec Baldwin. They should remake it. Why don't they remake these old monster <laughs> movies with like younger actors? Like uh, they're no. remaking everything else, man. They should. I would pay to see it just to see what I would, see what they have. What happens? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a fun with some Tom Hardy. Yeah. So the part it is actually Tom Hardy's a pretty long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he could be like that Ash Eddie Murphy movie. It's like right? all these all these characters, characters right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Or Arsenio Hall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tom Hardy and, and Eddie Murphy. Yeah, he's still alive. Can we not? <laughs> <laughs> now I kind of want to see a movie what with if, Eddie Murphy and Tom Hardy in it. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Just, it could be Do whatever. Eddie Murphy was a comedy. Yeah. Actually, it should be a comedy, right? Well, that's, that's, what about the actors in the American History X? Okay. Edward, Edward, Edward Norton. Norton. Yeah. Uh, Edward Wilson. Furlong. Furlong. Edward Wilson. Dude, yeah. that kid has such a great... He you has should, such good chops. It's he a brutal movie. Fucking killer chops. Yeah, brutal he movie. He's, uh, he's, he's, on the next episode of Where Are They Now? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's like, uh, I don't know, he makes this like, really weird... Kind of, Movies. I mean, there was one, movie, there was one movie called Aftermath where they played like survivors of sort of like uh, Armageddon and Apocalypse oh, yeah. sort of thing. So he's, he made, he's be, creating things. That's that's shit. So what yeah. happened? He's just like be ready. So he he Macaulay Culkin did? Exactly. But he pulled himself out of that shit. He's fucking having like a resurgence of his career. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. He's having a blast. I think I think one of my favorite movies in Macaulay Culkin is 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 uh what is it a party 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 monster party monster. I was gonna say party monster. I love party monster. So Seth Seth Green of all movies. That was so good. Just, Eddie Furlong yeah. is still alive, <laughs> and it looks like he's, in a, he's been in a bunch of movies. Around yeah, you guys are just like hating on him. You know it. Going back to the chat room here. All right. Irishman right. says the Irishman was pretty good for an old field gangster show. Old field gangster? Yeah. 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 Does it have that vibe? Yeah. yeah, yeah oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely good. a score It's definitely seat. good in yeah. that sense. Just not my favorite one. No. Yeah. Mm. It was good. I like it. It was good. Uh, the, 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 the one thing though is, the one thing though was, it, it wasn't exactly like I uh, sit in my fucking chair the whole time. Right. Like if I'm watching, if I'm watching Goodfellas, no matter where I where I am in that movie, I walk into that movie, I'm gonna sit down and watch the rest of it. Yeah. Right. Whereas the Irishman, yeah. the Irishman, the Irishman, I I got up, I went and took a shower, came back, watched some more of it, mm-hmm. got up, cooked some fucking food, came back, listened to it, watched it, and did all this. Did a whole bunch of other shit. The house. I left like, the house. At, one, at point. one point, I left the house to go get something to drink and came back and watched more of it. Yeah. Right? But, I left the house. I went to Vancouver. <laughs> 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 I went and got Neil and I got Jerrica and then we came back. It was and still, it was still on. on. It was still on. It's still on. Time stop. But, but, like, oh, Al Pacino hasn't shown up yet. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, there's no Jim Hoffa appearance yet. What the fuck? <laughs> So what else did they say? What else did they say? Well, going back, going back to... Because you were laughing over there. Yeah, Vicky 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 (laughs) said uh, there's probably a wild dick at the the ice station. (laughs) (laughs) We were talking about the dick face. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 There's a what? A wall? A wall of dick at the ice station. (laughs) 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 I picture that. A wall of dicks. The most popular ones, the ones they've seen so much. Can you imagine? There's probably because it's so much. They have several walls. Several different walls. Major body parts. (laughs) (laughs) It's all like it's like categories. It's categorized by each district or county or whatever the fuck you're from. They got their top one. That guy sends out a picture of his schlong at least. 50 million times a day. <laughs> and it's like, not even the same person. It's to everyone. But there's like serial dickists out there. Yeah. They're fucking out there just throwing their dicks at you. Seriously, um, why, like can't randomly. Randomly. why can't we have can't, why can't women like exactly. serial killers? Why, 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 not, why is it only dudes? Why can't we I have like serial serial vaginas? Just hair dropping everyone. Just hair dropping everyone. Yeah! yeah. 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 Uh, there's there's right. vaginas up there on the wall too. There's but if a girl gets an unsolicited dick from someone, she's like, fuck oh, this guy. Yeah. 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 You know what that whole wall, wall is? Right? It's, called it's called Pornhub. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. That's People what it is. People willingly upload their shit on Pornhub. That's true. And the that's probably guy, what it is. It's called the porn one. And that's, that's like the yeah. harvesting of people. They're a family now. Harvesting. Harvesting. They're harvesting um, info of your harvesting vaginas. Harvesting vaginas. Everything went so sour. 
Yeah, that one fell real fast. Here we go. Here's another good one. Victor also said, would Fifth Element fall under Opera? Oh, yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Consider that. Yeah. that We're is, all familiar with it. Oh, God. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. And, like, like that, that is one of my one of my top movies. Yeah. It is definitely one of my top movies. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I mean, everybody knows that I'm a huge movie guy, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And, and I just, I don't ever want to see that one ever remade. That's one of the ones. That's one of the ones. Yeah. Which one's that? Fifth Element. Oh, okay. I I I don't know if you could. You couldn't. You couldn't replace Bruce Willis or Chris Tucker. No. Or Mia. Mila. 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 Jovovich. 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 Or Gary Oldman, for that matter. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's right. (laughs) That's right. That's right. That's good. Yeah. We're talking about Gary Oldman all the time right now. Oh, all the time. Man. Since I've been, he since gets my nipples hard. <laughs> dude, 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 since, since you, since they you like stepped into my heart. They like sending each other photos of yeah. him. I thought yeah. they were already hard. <laughs> They're like permanently hard. He has to constantly do them. Like the perma hard nipples. Like 15, 20 years ago, I saw this video on, on TV. Um, that these girls that would take these little tiny rings and put them on her nipples so that they would have permanently hard nipples. Uh-huh. Like a ring that would just yeah, yeah, wrap around, around it. it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Huh. Oh, like, cool. I, I, I thought that. you were going to say oh, something TV? to do with, with this. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman's Gary Oldman's hard. They're long, too. They're like that long. She's like top 10 wieners. Okay, that's it. That's the title of the episode. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman's hard. 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 Gary Oldman's they call the vagina wall the wall of ham. Uh, I like that. I no, it's the wall. It's not not it's a meat. It's, it's a <laughs> wall of roast beef. <laughs> I like, I think the wall of day of deli meat. <laughs> the wall of turkey sandwiches. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something better. The wall of ham sandwiches. The wall of vag. The wall of Vagine. the wall of sh- with the Vag. wall of God. The Vaj Mahal. There we go. That's way better. The Vaj Mahal. Not to the wall. No. Don't look at it. I have it still. I have it either. Shim, shim, shim. You and your fucking blue wall. Well, look at I see your screen going crazy. Yeah, he's Victor's on a roll here. Hey, Victor. Oh, he said Arby's Wall of Fame. Wall of Shame. Nice. Nice one. Gross. Uh, I want some Arby's sandwiches now. I'm hungry now. Yeah. I told Chris like, how dare him. <laughs> you need to get Arby's. I thought I got to go to like Shell after this. Get, get I some cannot. Arby's sandwiches. No. Corner store sandwich. Absolutely not. So hey, I, I had a sandwich speak. earlier today. And like Love that the, movie. The mayo yeah. was overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you it, sure it wasn't Miracle Whip? Miracle Whip is shit. Miracle Whip is overpowered. It was overpowered. And there was a lot of meat. In it too, and I, I tasted the, oh. the, the so, miracle whip in it more. Yeah, it was too much meat for you. I feel like we should go into the um, <laughs> the part of our podcast where people call in or comment. Okay, okay, with okay. So I, something along the lines of help or concerns or something they just want to talk about with us. Right. And I think that it's the perfect time to do that because it is. Dear Malcolm time. Dear Malcolm. Dear Malcolm. Dear Malcolm. Dear Malcolm. Yeah. Ask him about his nipples. All right. <laughs> so I think we have someone. Right? We do. We do have someone. I, I have somebody after that too. Okay, sweet. Yeah. So maybe you should get that person while I'm waiting for my person to uh, do their thing. And if as a reminder, right now, people who call in, people who call in get stickers. stickers. And we stickers. Out to you guys. stickers. So you guys participate. You get goodies. That's right. Hit up the F this account and say, hey, bitch, where's my sticker? That's right. Give exactly. them your address or. So this caller is going to be, is, is gonna, um, be unnamed, but I'll give him uh, I'll give him a name. Okay, what's his name? Senku. Senku? Yes. Oh, shit. Senku. Is that, is that a Japanese thing? I believe so. We'll, is we'll it ask an anime him. thing? You guys Japanese know that he wants thing? to remain nameless on the podcast. He doesn't want to use his real name for it. So. Okay. Mister. Yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll be Senku. You'll I probably know that. when he calls. Okay. Yeah. Don't, like, don't give it away. Just let him be. I'll be like, what up, Fag? <laughs> <laughs> Paging Dr. Fager. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, man. Dude. All right. I'm messaging him. and he's We so could just give him superhero names. 
So we need, well, to, we, need to, we need at this present time the that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up. I need my person to go. Okay. So tell your person to fuck off. Okay. I'll tell them to wait. Wait in line. Okay, that go. ship done sailed. Take a fucking number, guy. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. <laughs> oh, speaking of red rum. Yes. What do you guys think about that whole oh, fucking sequel? Oh, I haven't seen sleep. it yet. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Here well, we go. Oh, wait, hold up. All right. Okay. All right. We listen oh. to this banger. Yeah. Totally banging. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings. Hi. What's up, Mo Mo? Hey, hey, what's up? Hello. It's going good. It's going. Good. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> Something we gotta beep beep. Tell them that ship sailed. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All I right. told them to wait. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. That's welcome. what she said. <laughs> How are you doing today? What are you doing, Monique? Okay. okay. My bad. Is there a way we can? <laughs> can, 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 can we get this <laughs> I don't think the camera can hear her talking. No? no. Oh no. We can hear you clear. Okay. Um. Oh, you want speakers? Yeah. Should we just bring this closer? Okay. I don't know. No. Okay. Is that it better? Is it on my end? That works. No, that works. That works. Yeah, it works. Yep. Look at this. So, <laughs> hola, yo, como estas? So, well, you know, French there. Like, oh, wow. Well, come see, come see. <laughs> come see. Yes, that's when the us. only French I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it just means okay. <laughs> no, no, so, so, no so, hablo so, francais. Let's see what's up. What's that again? No, it's not. Pas de francais. Pas de francais. <laughs> Fucking tabernack my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you spending too much time with French people, Malcolm. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> All right, Monique. All right. Let's hear. Okay. Um, what are we? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, what are we doing? Questions, comments, anything. You want to talk about some? Um, I want to talk about how fucked up the process of moving is. Oh, yes. tell me about it, girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just uh, moved into my new place last night for the first night we've been here. And uh, it seemed, like you guys said earlier, like fucking Murphy's Law. Like anything that could have gone wrong absolutely yes. did. Um, you know, I had a moving company lined up to come. They didn't fucking show. I think the <laughs> owner thought that I had a crazy ex-boyfriend that I was stealing his whole house of content from. <laughs> and he ended up telling me two stories before he left about one, how he had a shotgun pulled on him from a crazy ex- ex-boyfriend. And then the other one, the crazy guy thought that he was the one that his wife was cheating on him with. So he like, I think he told me these two stories right before he left my house. To basically say, fuck you, I think you're a crazy bitch and your ex boyfriend's gonna be coming after me. Jesus but Christ. he couldn't, you know, have, have the decency to tell me, no, sorry, I'm not gonna do this job. So I sat around and waited for this moving company to come all day. <laughs> great business owner. And then I finally get another moving company to come last minute. The guys show up an hour late and they're fucking reek of booze and cigarettes. You can tell that they're probably partying until like the minute they showed up. <laughs> they're like, Christ. oh yeah, let's yeah. go help this chick. Let's go, all right? We are, all right. Let's do that. <laughs> then they broke two of my, no, sorry, three of my content for damage. Jesus uh, Christ. They oh. completely What'd you lose? backed my storage unit. Um, in a mess, so I can't even, like, there's no room, I can't even get in, I can't even sort through it, nothing. Um, they actually broke, broke one of those, um, oh, what do you call them, those over-the-toilet shelves? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And go, yeah and it was brand new. Like, I used to keep drugs in those. Um, <laughs> and then they broke um, a bookshelf. 
Wow. Oh, fuck, I used to keep books in those. And that they ripped, uh, ripped one, of, one of my expensive bags. So, oh, and then now the owner of the company is not even calling me back. Fuck those guys. <laughs> right? Um, small claims so, court. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make them pay. If I had one vindictive bone in my body, I'd be uh, writing reviews all over the place. You'd be all over Yelp, just salty as fuck, right? <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, we get to the apartment to offload some shit, and second load in the elevator is a power coat. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! (laughs) Yeah, so thank God no one was in the elevator at that time. Uh It took about three hours before the power came back on. Wow! Was your stuff in the elevator? Just my stuff in the elevator. So that just the stuff was in there. That's good it wasn't yeah, people. I know, exactly, right? <laughs> that sucks so much. God damn, imagine yeah. if you put your kid down in the elevator and then stand up and say, grab something and then go closer. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that'd be horrible. Oh, that would be horrible. I'm never going to use that elevator again. Thanks, oh. Malcolm. Just yeah. <laughs> straight up. Buy Honestly, I got shit to Those movers movies. need someone to go to their business with like a strap on or something. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. But what sucks about people who are business owners to like ourselves, for us, like Monique, and for us two people know who we are. Yeah. So if you go and you leave a review yeah. on someone else, they'll totally send people to go fuck with you. Yeah. So that they're on your business pages and all that stuff and then they'll be jerks and they'll it'll it just starts a huge mess. So you can't even sure. do you can't do anything publicly because you have to protect yourself and it's messed up. Yeah. 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 This is where um um a fake account comes into play. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, hey <laughs> Thanks, girl. I'm going to do that now. What does it count? Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Because I got some people I need to see. Go after. <laughs> <laughs> I, got some, I, I got some people I need to fuck. Yeah. Yeah. You know, after, like, you know how moving goes. Everybody and their fucking mom always, oh, yeah, I'll be there. I'll help you out. Call me moving day, you know. And then once mm-hmm. you get a hold of everybody, everyone's busy or Crickets. sick. Or, you know what I mean? And so... Yeah, but ultimately it worked out really, really good. Um, I had, I was lucky enough and blessed to have uh, a church group come by and help with like the loading and the cleaning. Amazing. So, yeah, shit got done. I was supposed to have my walk through yesterday at 11 o'clock in the morning and the realtor showed up and she's like, yeah, um, really not that day. I was like, fuck yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank God. Like, oh, yeah. Like, You'll find a lot of friends. 
for sure. <laughs> then you can come here and poke holes in people instead of all the way over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Poke some holes. Just, here. just come up to them and poke them. Uh, poke them hard. Oh, sorry. What was that? He said poke them hard. Yeah, poke them hard. <laughs> go hard or go home. That's your slogan. Bury <laughs> <Very> the needle. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Malcolm said bury the needle. I've been trying to get like tattoo artists to adopt that slogan and they won't. <laughs> I think because it sounds kind of bad, but. <laughs> yeah, so if I, if I do go back home, then yeah, I'll definitely be setting up shop. Um, you know, I have to be here. Um, that, that's my livelihood. You know, it's my passion, being a person of the um, And I'm also certified in some kick ass medical aesthetic equipment. Um, so I will be offering like hair removal, body contouring, wrinkle reduction, acne treatment, scar reduction. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, all right. Out, if you can, if you can, if you can, back home or all the way across the country to go to the Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. BC needs you. But if yeah. you could if you could teach somebody else to do some hair removal, I got some parts that I need removed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'll help you. Me too, because I'm not gonna get my sister. I'll help you. You're rude. <laughs> You're just straight up rude. Right now. I, I, I told yeah. You want man right. I'll get I'll get right up in there. Now. Yeah. We'll we'll do this. Monique, you have, Monique, we actually should talk to you because I have some um I have people for you to talk to about all that. So when you're ready, we'll talk about it because I know some people that need you actually. Nice. Oh, cool. Like yeah. business wise to pair up with, not customers. Stop right here. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> right. I see, I see how it is. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. I would love to do it. <laughs> All right. So, is there anything else? So, Monique, make sure that you um um you can message me or Chris if you want or anyone here, but make sure you tell them what size shirt you you wear and all that because we want to make sure you get one of our shirts, but also so you can get our stickers because you called in. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Thank you guys. I can't wait yeah. to support the picture. Thanks, mate. Hang <laughs> on. Well, I have a couple of time babies and I'm trying to fix this week. So. All righty. All right. Thank you for calling in, Monique. It's a good area. We're glad that you're all settled. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 Right. She seemed nice. Yes. Yeah. That was a good, uh, was a good call, call. So if you guys don't know um, Monique, she actually had her own, she has, she has her own piercing shop in um, Grand Prairie. Transcendent. Cool. Transcendent. And um, she has amazing products, amazing high quality products. And um, she's been doing very she's been different techniques. Yeah. Yeah, she's been doing this for a good, like, Oh, uh, no, we got another caller calling. Let's do it. Caller calling. Call 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 caller calling. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> Hello, Sanku. Are we pronouncing your name right? Yeah? Did you say sir? There you go. I've been having some terrible times when it comes to mental health, right? Yeah. Like, it's it's not easy to deal with. Right. Yeah, I hear you. But for, I, I have two things I want to say before we continue on with this conversation. All right. First of all, Swanili, fucking, you don't... Your pronunciation of Sukiyomi is fucking irritating. <laughs> I knew it would bug you. I knew it would bug you. Nobody else here that you get sick. I knew it would bug you. I swear to God, you did it. I did. I did. I certainly did. <laughs> get it right, Neil. Sukiyomi. God of the moon. If the Sukiyomi, you fucking never say it the way you did ever again. I swear to God. I'm going to say it. Every single day, she's a succulent. She has fine words. I will slide you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, somebody wants 
in your DMs. We're, we're going to have an, <laughs> an epic anime fight. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You're going to go to, are you going to go to a baseball game? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have an epic anime fight, guys. Right. Yeah, I like Dragon Ball Z meets JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You guys should I'll use, use screen savers. Oh, use my headphones if I can. I'll destroy you. <laughs> what was the second point you were going to bring up? You know what? You I have Alzheimer's, so I've got a fucking clue. I feel you there, brother. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, actually, the second point, now that you're reminded me, um, can you, can you just, like, can you do me a favor and tell your fucking idiot sound guy to fucking to keep the sound volume level across microphones, because his is way louder than everybody else's, <laughs> and the volume fluctuates like nobody's business, and it's fucking irritating to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's me. Malcolm, what are you doing over there? I think that's me. Is that me? Can you hear me loud and clear? Just seriously, just do everybody a favor and just fucking level up the volume. At least, at least for a bass, just put everything at fifty percent. There's no reason for yours to be at fucking. Turn it up to 11. We can hear him. Yeah. Yeah. No. We're. Fuck him. We can. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, Senku. This isn't fucking the Senku show, so. Eat a dick, (laughs) motherfucker. Does the sign say fucking Burger King? You don't get it your way. Did you not hear Malcolm earlier when he was like, we're working hard for this art. We're not going to listen to you because we're presenting it this way. Actually, all the volume levels are on the same number. This was all, okay. this was all like a it's just his voice. Yeah. You know, yeah. Was, that, that's pretty funny, too, because it's like, I'm an artist. Criticism? <laughs> nah, fuck you. There's no criticism in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, you're wrong, bitch. But, uh, what kind of art are you into? Monkey what? art. Oh, cool. Yeah, boy. <laughs> boy. Anyway, boy. <laughs> so I was specifically calling to complain because, you know, this podcast was all about mental health and there's not a single moment of that. That's why I called in because, you know, I've been, I've been having a couple of issues and none of that has been addressed so far in the fucking whatever hours it has been. Neil, I can see you laughing. <laughs> we know the important thing well, about yeah, addressing right. mental health issues is fucking talking about it. Let, right. Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah. Let's yeah, go through it. That doesn't help. It that really doesn't. doesn't. Well, it just certainly hang up. This guy doesn't want help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. shit. Hey, sorry, man. He hung up on me. So the thing with it. that situation is that not only do we address mental health and, you know, subjects when we talk about it, yeah. here and there and it's on all of our social media too we're always sharing things about it and if you have something you want to speak to us about write us a message do yeah. something or call in yeah. and we do address it when people that. have messaged us or emailed us something <clears throat> we do address yeah. it and I love that and it's fun and it's good to do that because it feels good right to talk about it and so um, maybe coming at us in a, a better manner or maybe start out the conversation yeah, with, hey, let's want. talk about it, and then say what yes. you want to talk about. <laughs> yes. So maybe that's the way about going and doing that. So I didn't feel like that call was going to fix anything. You know what? I like that call. Anything. That was fun. <laughs> no, I love it. I that was really funny. Um, Suck it to me. And a shout out to Monique Robinson. Uh, she says here, piercings for 17 years. Yes. 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 Years in the game. Yeah, she, she is a bro, you guys. Yeah. She rocks. So we do 
you know, address mental health. We have done it before in our previous episodes, but we also have like a structure for how we do this yes. here. Like yeah. we have some things we want to talk about. Uh, we are doing this podcast in a more structured manner as opposed to uh, how it was before. And Chaos. the previous episodes we have talked about like various things from anxiety to like how to deal with it or um, I can't even remember what else we uh, spoke about. We talk about depression. We talk about uh, you know how uh, how your uh, anxiety or uh, how how, how, you, but it, how it presents itself in your own life. Yeah, you know what I mean? How does it feel to you? Exactly. What is your anxiety? Like we we talked about what ours feels like. Yeah. And it's then we talk about how the different things that we do to cope with it. Yeah. You know, and I mean we can always go ahead and tap into it and re reiterate what we talk about every once in a while just to put it back out there again. <laughs> you know, like doing doing self talk is always something that's like waking up in the morning and and like like one of our one of our listeners tells us make your bed. And I mean the first thing you do is make your bed because that's something that can be done. Small victory. Small victory. Yeah. You know, and then go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom and look at yourself and be be happy about what you are. Be happy about who you are. Be happy about where you stand. Listen, well, like you know, quali- you know, positive quality. Positive, positive yeah, quality. Yeah, yeah, and say and say it out loud. So do that for like twenty one days. To just just say it out loud. Habit, like no and stops. That, yes. Yeah, and that. In the mirror for twenty one days. <laughs> just <laughs> talk and don't eat, don't sleep. Shut up, <laughs> straight, <laughs> straight. Fucking just straight. Just do it and every day for twenty one days. Shut up. Another big one is PTSD. Yeah. It's like yeah. People think when they think PTSD, they think like uh. Like army vets mm-hmm. or somebody who's so no man, I suffer from but, yes. but there's things like there's simple things like people that were like women in particular that were in really bad relationships. Yeah, yeah. they suffer from PTSD. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, you know, or, or, people or like people who in accidents. People who work with people who were in accidents. Yeah, like 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 paramedics, doctors, ER nurses, mm-hmm. uh, people who work in construction sites who yeah. have been a part of like a big disasters or small yeah. disasters. I know, I know you're talking about you know, like the big things like people get physically hurt, but I'm talking like just no 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about like, Relationship. I'm talking about yeah, like, 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 yeah. like a mental abusive yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. Just, just treating his girlfriend like shit. shit. Yeah. That's and that, yeah, you, you go through a that. series of relationships like that, and then you go and you're you try to start a relationship with someone who's not like that, and then there's like panic and anxiety because you have no idea how to deal with someone not being that. Or that you're just carrying. Like that. people who are raised in chaos don't know how to live a life without it. Like when or they, they go carry out on their what, own what they've lived through because their parents and everyone around them. They, they have it. PTSD. It's totally PTSD. Yeah. Just going out and living your life or in a different manner. You meet this person that doesn't it's not all those bad things and you're expecting it. Absolutely. You, kind of, you start projecting it. You yeah. always you think live, the walls are gonna fall down stuff. around you mm-hmm. at any like, moment. You start treating yeah. them in, a, in such a way that they Kind of like you want them to start treating you. Yeah. yeah. So they push. A lot of people push. do that. They okay. dig and dig and dig until it is what they want it to be because that's <laughs> where they're comfortable. Yeah. You know, there's people out there that just won't. They just won't do that. No. And that's all. That's all about too breaking the cycle, right? Yeah. yeah. Breaking, breaking important. the cycle, of trauma and stuff like that. So you be the one. You have to learn a different way of coping with situations, and it's a lot of trust and patience and stuff like that with yourself and with people around you. Thanks, Tom. So like, it's, yeah. it's not, it's not, it's, it's a very difficult thing, and it takes a lot of fucking time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's several, there's several, there's several, like, there's several books out there, and there's several different like authors out there, several different doctors, and one of the main things that I've noticed that they talk about is, is it takes double the time of the trauma that happened to you, hmm. uh, right? That tends to be one of one of the, you know, it tends to be the, the the message that they've said. So let's say you're abused, you know, verbally or mentally. And you're abused for half of your lifespan, right? So half of your lifespan in existence has been 12 years. So they say it takes roughly around 24 fucking years to fully recoup from that trauma, whatever that trauma is. Yes. Your head is like blocking the whole day long. <laughs> Almost. You can't see Sean Almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cool. Um, so with that being said, uh, Especially when I, I know we call them small victories, but when you're in a position like that where you're thinking so down about yourself, it's actually quite a big accomplishment to actually push that extra level to get those small victories, but they're actually big victories in that uh-huh. case. Yeah. yeah. And it's not just yeah, and it's not just getting to those 
victories. It's also celebrating those victories and how you celebrate them too, because like to have a good support system of friends around you to help you celebrate those actually makes a huge difference. Yeah. Huge. I think it, I think it's really it shows important. you that like you mean something. Yes. That you mean something. Because yeah. there's people out there that really feel like they're insignificant. You know? Yeah. And yeah. alone. Yeah. Alone in exactly. their thoughts, alone in yeah. their weirdness, in head, alone. That's the mean? worst place you could be just yeah. in your head by yourself. Just, yeah. Just so it's, it's very those easy those to things. shut off and go into yourself yeah. and not, you know talk to people about situations and not confide in anybody that you trust. It's yeah. easier to just shut things off and not deal with it. Yeah, it is. Don't shut your phone off. Lock this door. Close your, close your blinds. It's easy to you know, do. Just, it's easy to fall into a something like that, too. You can get comfortable in that situation. You can, and it's, it's yeah, bad for you. Hmm? But getting back to the room here, Victor said he survived a head-on collision mm -hmm. as cool. far as PTSD. Yeah. yeah. So that, that, I couldn't imagine yeah. like that. Must be like, hmm. <clears throat> no. Um, I, I, I've been in accidents before, but yeah. nothing that severe. No. I've been. I was in a rollover accident where I was hospitalized, and it definitely felt weird to be in a car again after that. Like it felt very uncomfortable. I used to. Um, I used to pay my boyfriend's little brother. I would give him money to go hang out at the mall while I was at work, so I had someone in the car with me, so I didn't have to drive to work alone. Like. Yeah. That's some codependent shit, <laughs> right? I didn't want to be alone after that. But, but I mean, the, the, I mean you that's get still through it. Other, you, still coping yeah, that you learn you ways to do yeah. things. I didn't make people drive for me. I still drove, but then I, I made someone come with me. <laughs> right. I, I, I like like funny story. With that. It was like this past uh, spring, um, I had crows swoop down at me for the very first time. <laughs> and like after <laughs> that, and I was like, Paranoid for like Perverse. a month of like Dude. crows. I'd be like, I was like well, walking big. around and you know, I, I looked in, I, I'd be looking around wherever I am. If I see them like in trees oh, nearby, I'd be like, I got my high on you. I got my he's high totally high sheltered. High. He's, he's totally I, sheltered. When I looked it up, it wasn't like anything personal because I'm afraid of crows, you know, um, fucking hating me because if they, if they, you know, identify you as like an asshole towards them, but they'll tell other crows. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They it's totally talk smart. to each other. That's so crazy. I looked it up, and it was just because it was around nesting season, and uh, they were just protecting their uh -huh. their their nests from potential yeah. predators, and that they can't, they don't actually peck at you. They just swoop down to annoy the fuck out of you. So I mean, I sort of that. had you know a minor <laughs> bit of that for like a month because I'm like. Man, I saw the birds. I'm afraid that, like, you know, they'll just drill their beak into my neck and they'll like, <laughs> kill me, kill me, and I'll die on the street. I never thought about uh, necks. I always go straight to eyeballs. Yeah. But it has to do with birds. I'm like, they're gonna eat your eyeballs. Speaking of birds, did you guys hear about that uh, wild turkey that's running around, uh, not in Kitimat, but in like Coho Flats area? I saw a post the about a turkey. Yeah, about turkey. people. They, they were like walking through Coho Flats. They had like a GPS system and you could see their their uh, GPS showing them running in circles because the turkey was actually chasing them. Is it a wild turkey or is it someone's turkey? turkey? No, it's just a wild white turkey. It's like yeah. an albino turkey. <laughs> turkey. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know if it was show. somebody's, like if it was from an area that had chickens and, and turkeys and stuff like that away. or if it was like a wild turkey. Yeah, there's no farms It was just area. a Canadian turkey just yeah. going wild. Yeah, yeah, just chasing people around, and the person holding the actual GPS is just laughing his ass off because they're, they're all running away. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, oh, Do we have any news on that? Yeah, Laurel said I had a single cross swoop down at me three times at the same time. They're scary motherfuckers. What do you say, Laurel? They can't be. They can't be. And there's like a lot of them too. Yeah. Like we put the trash them. out. We put the murder trash them. out, and I'm like a crazy person, like waving my hands around like get out of the trash because they break open the bags and then I like walk back too. yeah oh, they yeah, do I, oh, yeah. I, I could you could hear the birds they telling talk. her telling everybody else yeah. hey Watch she went back into the house let's go let's go <laughs> and then like I would run out there again ah! and then they would be like rah, rah, rah. We're, laughing. we're totally we're laughing, laughing at me <laughs> well uh, crazy with yeah. the with the murder of crows, they actually um, caw about seven times which simulates danger for the rest of the murder. That's crazy, right? Yeah, and They're actually, so smart. some people 
Um, they won't actually find threatening, so they won't do anything. But if that same person actually wears a hat because it simulates a bird, mm -hmm. it, they'll do it. Oh, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. A college actually did a, a project on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, good enough. It's close enough. <laughs> yeah. Probably it looked like a pigeon to him or something. It's trippy know. though, too, because when we were in Kenya, there's like, there would be like a hundred of, a hundred crows all in one place, just going crazy, and you're just like, this is real scary. I'm gonna go back inside. <laughs> you do you, crows, you do you. That's like some Alfred Hitchcock. It really is. Serious. That's what it looks like. Burn, go back in the house and <laughs> Sorry, that's not the same wrong movie. Same, same man, same man, director, same director, writer. Sweet so, speak. so I do, I, I do think, ask. Um, I think Tyler is a pretty fucking smart guy. Yeah. yeah Who's Tyler? Who is Tyler? What's Tyler's name? But I think. Who's Tyler? Who what? What? Mr. Tyler. Who's Tyler? You're no smart. One. You're smart. You're saying you got us back. So what were you going to say? Oh, I was just, I was just going to continue with the whole trauma situation. Because um, my, my recent situation was at work mm -hmm. like, you know and I, I experienced some pretty fucking horrific shit like right beside me that mm -hmm. could have been me right totally you so, always think that that totally could have been me <laughs> because it, it was i was like right beside the dude when it happened mm -hmm. right and thank god it wasn't me and it could have easily been me because i do the same thing that he was doing yeah right so i'm just sitting there and i'm like you know crossing it and it didn't affect me until way later like i'm talking like weeks later Right. Yeah. So then I've been, I've been like going to counseling. I've been seeing counselors and, you know, working that shit out myself. But, you know, I, I didn't think that would happen to me because my background in, 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 in medical. medical. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't, you know, I've experienced that type of shit on that end, but not at while it happened type of situation. Right. Yeah. So I think. I always was one of those guys who always thought that it was stupid to fucking talk to people about it, right? Yeah. That was my thing. That was always that has always been my thing. That was something that was reiterated reiterated to me as a child and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I was just okay, hell bent to fucking against it, and then decided, okay, well, fuck it, I'll just go ahead and go through with it. <laughs> <laughs> you can move that boot rack. Bro. <laughs> so I'll just. You know, I just I just bit the bullet and decided that I I, I should try and try this. You know, I should yeah. try and talk to somebody about it, yeah. not just like my loved ones or people that, that I trust. I need a, a third party, distant away who can give some perspective. And seriously, if you don't think that talking is gonna not work, hmm. it really does. It, at the very least, it, it, it relieved it relieved a release. Hmm. It was. I was able to vocalize it and it was out there now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if if you feel that it's not gonna work for you, try it. Try it a couple times. Yeah. Try it until it does. Yeah. Seriously, try it until just it does. Just find something, just right? Trust in the process. Trust seriously. There's a just, reason that this stuff has been around this long. Like as exactly. it goes mm -hmm. work. Exactly. Exactly. And I was one of those people who fucking totally I, too, yeah. I was totally against fucking why the fuck should I go see a shrink? Why yeah. should I talk to an absolute stranger? Yeah. Why should I tell this absolute stranger about this thing that's that fucked me up? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Why should I tell that person? Yeah. You know, and then I was like, okay, well, well, well fucking, it's it's, just, it's it's ruining my life. It's ruining me. I need yeah. to go. I need to go and tell somebody. It's just the vocalizing. Of it. Yeah. It doesn't. Like, it almost. It almost doesn't matter who. No. It's just a matter of getting it out there and getting another yes. set of human ears to hear it. I like the I ears. like the fact of talking to an outsider though too, because there's no No bias. Yeah. Nothing. I don't have any weight on situation whatsoever. And I don't create weight you know? for somebody else that I love. You know what I mean? And then there's that too, right? You feel a guilt about it, like yeah. putting all of your stuff on someone else. But if you yeah. were talking to somebody who has no need to take it home with them, really, you yeah. know. It's they different. write it down. They write it down in a booklet. It takes away the stress on you. Too. And then they, and then they, and then they're they're trained in telling you how to use different mechanisms and different coping skills and different things that you techniques to, that you can learn how to use. And like, like I said, self talk in the morning was one of the ones that I learned. Yeah, self reflection. Right. There's, self -reflection. there's a quote in, in uh, what is it? Bhagavad or Bhagavad or some shit. It's fucking. It says self reflection. Self reflection uh, will get you further than prayer, mm. and it's just it's talking to yourself 
Yeah. Sharing your thoughts with yourself, getting in there and dissecting everything that you're thinking. There's, there are Being days objective. where I have Being, to yeah. literally tell myself, just think about the good things, think about all the things that you have to be thankful for and all that, and then just move forward one step at a time and get through it. Yeah. There's days you got to start off like that. Another thing that I like to do is uh, uh, writing shit down. Yeah. Write shit down that you want to say. Like if, if, if something upsets you, write it down. Like for me, I, I have about 500, 600 notes in my notepad app on my phone of shit that I just write down. I, I do not want to see some that. Of it, some of it I share. Some of it I share on my Facebook page because I'm trying to invite people into my life to get a feel of who I am and what I'm dealing with and if they can relate to me. Right. But a lot of that shit is not necessary for me to share. You know, some of it could be like bitter, you know, bitter old guy shit. Yeah. You know, just, yeah. just spiteful. And some of it could be just ridiculous, you know, thoughts that I don't think are important or pertinent to anything. But the important thing is to write it all down. You don't have to share it with anybody. Yeah. You can just delete it. Yeah. You can hang on to it for further reflection. But that the point is to get it out of you and out into the world. Yeah. yeah. And okay. that, that that's a big help for people. Yeah. 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 You don't have to so, share it with somebody. Just get it out of you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, that, yeah. It's it's surprisingly that's why, you know, um people before used to keep journals and stuff. And that's they, what I did. Like, they used to write about yeah. shit back you know, went on in their day, their thoughts, and, you know, it certainly probably helped with them. It's like a, it's like a big briefing process for yourself. You know, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're just, you just release it, mm-hmm. right? And, and when, keeping it pent up, it's just going to keep on building and building and building and building to a point where your body can't physically handle it anymore. No, it manifests itself. Yeah. Physically. It will it manifest it physically. Yeah. And it owns. And this is a safety valve. Yeah, you know what you like. I feel like a lot of people, unfortunately, that do suffer from you know PTSD or depression or any form of like mental uh, mental health issues like this, like a good chunk of them sometimes you know will have the wrong coping mechanisms with it. They'll turn to you know the wrong type of drugs. They turn to alcohol. They turn to you know. Some very unhealthy things that will not, you know, help make it better, right? It'll just be like a temporary, fix. you know, fix. Yeah. A temporary deprive, deprive from it. By her. It's like a band aid. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, it'll help a little bit, you know, temporarily, but it's not going to help with the situation overall. And, like, you got to give, you got to give yourself a chance to, you know, get, get through it, right? Mm-hmm. You got to, you know, try to maybe go to bed at a reasonable time or, you know, watch what you're eating, um, uh, getting enough sun sh- sunlight out there, maybe uh, actually keeping fit, you know, going to the gym, keeping yourself actually fit and whatnot. Like, we were talking about that today, too. Yeah. About Chris was saying, where, um, do you, what if we live somewhere where the sun went down and then come back for a couple of months? Exactly. Like, could you imagine yeah, that? Because easy. you literally you need vitamin D in your life. Like yeah. you need sunshine and stuff. People like people who live places like where we live, yeah. you don't think about that. And you're like, you have to like seriously think, oh, you know what? I haven't been outside. I haven't seen the sun. I mm-hmm. work early in the morning and I get off late at night and I haven't <laughs> even seen outside for how long? And those are the kind of things you need to think about. Like when was the last time you ate? When was the last time you drank water? Right. Yeah, hydrates. You know what I mean? Like simple hydrate. shit like that. Actual, and you don't think about that. You're just like, oh, I'm just so sad all the time because of this, this, and this. And you're just like, when was the last time you went outside and yeah. like walked around yeah. or something like that? When was the last time you went and had a, so a breather? You know what yeah. I mean? Just so, so, so fucking simple. simple stuff like that. And people don't think about it. And that's like, that's the self care kind of thing. Yeah. And, and, and not, if you can't. Yeah, I'm not saying that you have to try those, but I mean, you got to give yourself that chance to, you know, combat that yeah. dark side of your mind yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's other things you could do with it, like uh, against it, like um, imagining that you have a friend who has, who's exactly like you in every way, who's, you know, talking crap about himself. So you got to try to, in your mind, you're trying to convince him that he's, Supported person with great right. qualities, so you list those qualities. In having this uh, friend who has everything that's exactly like you, 
uh, you're naming good qualities about yourself that yeah. you're wow. not, yeah. that you don't tell yourself every day. So if you keep saying that, if you keep bringing it up, um, I mean, it could help you, you know, feel a bit better about, you know, a situation that you're anxious about or if you're feeling like down in the dumps about a day because you're like, oh, well, you know, I'm not getting anywhere in life because of my job or because of this situation. But it's like, you know what? Try not to compare yourself to other people. Yeah. Just do yourself. Yeah. yeah. I you think, do I, you. And I think it's also important for you to like, tell people that you care about them. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Or I reassure, I tell them, them. reassure them that you do care about them. Reassure them. Reassure them. On, a, on a daily basis, I swear that we're, we're, we're always telling each other we fucking love each other. Yeah. Like, just out of the Yeah, yeah. Or gratitude. Yeah. 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 That was a huge one too. Yeah. Yeah. Thankful. yeah. I, I, out of nowhere, I'll text Malcolm. Like, Bro, I love you. There's, you know people, I mean? there's people out there that sometimes they don't hear that. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And there's people out there who might hear it, but it's hard for them to believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, like, like, it's like I said, like it's, it's there. There are small things sometimes to you, mm -hmm. but they might be the biggest fucking accomplishment for so many else. Yeah, you know what I mean. And and, and it's hard when they have like, or they or you or like you have like a low self esteem. It's so hard to like see those real good qualities yeah. that you have that yeah. everybody else sees. And sometimes like your mindset will just lie to you and be like, no, you don't. You're not trustworthy you're not worth anything you're horrible at this or that but like it's just your mindset yeah i mean once you get out of that or you can work towards getting out of it then you can see oh not so bad after all in fact it's i'm actually really good at this i have these good qualities here and whatnot mm -hmm. um so like like you know i'm just bringing it back to the whole self-talk situation in the morning mm -hmm. when you look at yourself in the fucking mirror right and it, it's Seriously, pick something that you, yeah. you you have a struggle with, right? You have you have, you you look at yourself and you you have a struggle with this or you have a struggle with that. Pick that and be like, dude, now what? You know what? No, I'm good at that. I'm really good at that. I'm really fucking good at this, and I'm working on that. You know what I mean? Like I'm working on that, and I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get to that place <laughs> where I'm good at that. You know what I mean? Or or like. Fuck, dude, I have a nice smile. You know what? I'm going to do that a little bit more every mm -hmm. once in a while. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. You know? And it's, you know, it, I just think that it's, it's a hard thing to fucking do. It's yeah. a really hard thing Maybe to do those, because you're, like, the, 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 the worst critic is yourself. Yes. So I, I just try it every once in a while. Yeah. I'm not saying try it every fucking day. I'm saying just try it every once in a while. Yeah, pick yeah. those little steps. Yeah. You know, like yeah, it it's like what you mentioned earlier. You know, uh, it's hard to find those little victories for yourself. But yes. You, it's like, but once you do, yeah, celebrate it, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. There's, I, I know there's days for me where it's like oh, I don't want to get out of bed, but like I have like a billion fucking uh, alarms to get me up because the first two will not wake me up. <laughs> After that. It's just a reminder for myself to, okay, I have to get up. I have to get up. I have to get up. And then, so I get up. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm up. I'm going to have enough time to do this, this, and this in the day. I'm going to have enough time to make it. This is great. This is a good first step for the day. Mm. I think, too, Definitely. if you're listening and you're um, – I want to know what you guys do to do that, too. Yeah. What do you guys do to help yourselves get through things? Yeah, what do you listen to? Who do you talk to? All that. I think um, if everybody shared different ideas and stuff too, you might help someone else. Mm -hmm. Every everything that we've been talking about here, <clears throat> it doesn't come easy. It you got to practice it. You and it comes from experience. Also. Keep doing it. Keep trying it. Keep you know. If you don't get it the first day, go to bed and wake up and mm -hmm. try again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. and just keep at it. It doesn't come easy. It's not easy. It's not easy to fix your brain. No. no. It's not easy to change your outlook on life if, if, if you feel that everything is shit, right? Yeah. yeah. You got to train yourself. You got to practice. You got to work out. Right? It's like working out, you know? It's like an athlete. Yeah. You got to work at it. It doesn't yeah. come easy. You can't just decide. No. No. You can decide to make a change. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the thing. That's the yeah. pinnacle. You yeah. can't that's decide. A, you got to make that decision. Yeah. 
you have to make the decision. Yeah. And the worst part is like when you're there and you're telling yourself, I have no one to talk to. I have no one to turn to. And I've been there. Like I was in an accident. I still have my scars. I don't have front teeth. I've been there. I haven't been able to look in a mirror. Like, well, I wasn't able to look in a mirror after the accident. I cooped myself in my apartment for almost two years because I didn't want to be around people. Mm. And I kept on telling myself that, that I can't go to any, mm. right? So that's, that's really the worst mindset you can have. Yeah. Like find that one person you trust, talk to them. If you don't want to talk to someone, you know, because you feel they may judge you or they won't listen uh, to a point where they, they're they just, you feel as if they're only on your side because they're your friend, then talk to a professional or talk to someone else you feel comfortable with that doesn't know you on a daily basis. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So Laurel in the room here, she brought up something. And this is something that I used to do too when I was younger, and I still do it today, and I still have trouble with it. But she said, uh, five second rule. When I have to do something and I don't want to do it, I count down from five. And when I get to one, it's go time. Yeah. Does anybody else do that? I do that too. Sometimes I'll count down from 10 seconds. Sometimes I'll count down from 50. If I, if there's something I want to do that I'm really not comfortable doing. I do a long breath, like breathe. And then I, I can feel it like the tension of the thought of doing it yeah. is like I feel better about it. Yeah. Or I'll do something to motivate me. Yeah. Like honestly, straight up, with I get burnt out on making cakes and stuff, I'll go watch cake videos of yeah. someone that I really love, that I admire, or whatever, and then I get pumped up about it. Yeah. Sometimes I have to pump myself up to do things. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have a, we have another comment. Okay. It's uh, hey, he he said it. He his name's in uh, Gitsanima, so I, I can't really pronounce it. I understand that it's Gitsan. Um, he said that one of his his sir his his. I guess coping mechanisms is using um, ceremony and culture, and they're huge for him. And anything about being on the land, and a, and uh, because he lives in a city, so he tries to get out, to clear his thoughts. So he goes out in the wilderness. And I, I think like we we do something in that aspect as well. Like we go out, we do some explosion therapy. We we go well, and then we blow some shit. They up. call that being grounded too, right? Yeah. Like what was the last time you were in nature? Yeah. Uh, me, touching yeah. it. Yeah. Like yeah, that's a good, being that's a good way in to do it. it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we have some more comments. All right. I'm uh, I'm actually hosting a viewing party or something. I was okay. too, but so, my internet was so going out. So we have another we have another comment. That's fine, kid. From Monique. Okay. Um, she said that one of the main things that helped her to retain. Her brain was that every time she had a negative thought, I had to stop myself and thought of five things to be grateful grateful for. Yeah. Uh, she started. Where is it? She started with the one thing that I would repeat five times, and then slowly the slowly the list would grow. The more you do this, the less negative thoughts come out. Uh, I think that's a, that's a brilliant thing. Yeah. Um, training your brain. Yeah. Mine was there actually was, when I complained. There was there was one technique that I always taught working with, with young people is that you, you take a look at your hand, right? Mm -hmm. And you have five issues manifested physically right in front of you. These are the things that you see that are problems. But then you take a look at it again, and then you have these parts in between. And these parts that you can't see are the main parts that create the manifested physical situations. So there's like a behind the scenes type of situation. Mm -hmm. So this was something that they were, that, that I was taught a part of this me Lou that they called. And when you look at something and you see somebody freaking out or you see somebody losing their shit or you see something going on with this person, understand that there's so much more behind it. Right. Right. You know what I mean? There's it's so scary, much man. more, so much more of a story that needs to be told. It needs to be expressed. That needs to be looked at. That needs to be, you know, yeah. taken care of as well. Yeah. It's not just the initial symptom, right? So it's and that's, everything that's, that's behind it. Really like a negative stigma attached to something is because nobody can read between those lines. Yeah, and they don't want to. No, they just see the thing. So I, I just want to. Uh, I hate to like cut it because we were having like a really dis good discussion with it, but 
I feeling like we should probably wrap up soon. But oh yeah. Do yeah. you guys have any final thoughts on like what we've discussed? I really just want people to participate. I like to hear how everybody yeah. else is doing things. Yeah. And if there's something that we could talk more about too, or if you have any information, share it with us, and then we can share with yeah. you too. That's so, good. so, so beyond the be, beyond the mental health, I think we should go ahead and move on to our next one, which is uh, any recommendations. Yeah. Any, dig this, dig this. Hmm. All right, this is a new segment. Is it, we should have uh, incorporated it in from the beginning, but we didn't. Yeah, and we're going to do that now. Though. So, what yeah. are you? So, what Basically, is it? What you're taking on? Dig this is every week. Well, not every week. Every episode that we come to the table, we're going to bring something that we're really digging on in that particular time. It could yeah. be anything, a book, a movie, whatever, a food, a place. Right. Uh, so if you guys if you guys out there have anything that you've been digging on lately that's 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 been something that you're enjoying, you know, let us know. You know. Yeah. Shoot us shoot us a message. Once again, shoot us a comment. Just, just this is like a good way to kind of deflate the yes. right? Yeah. Uh, good way to be free. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about fun so let's I talk about something good. Yeah, it's a, that's a big balance of our episode here. I feel like, you know, we got the the fun good stuff we wanted to talk about out of the way first and then delve delve deep into our discussion on mental health. Um quick question. Are we giving Senku a sticker? Oh sure. yes. yes, definitely because Absolutely. you know what? He brought us back on track. Yes, he brought yes. us right. We went off the rails a little, and he brought us back. Thanks, Steve. Yes. You gotta pronounce it right, though, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's always gonna have to get him to call in and pronounce it for us again. Yeah. So. Oh, there was one more comment. Um, uh, once again, it's it, his name's in Gizat, and it's uh, he's talking about the the turkey situ- situation. Wait, yes. it's called the white turkey yes. GMO turkey. Yeah, it's a GMO yes. turkey. It's a, it's a <laughs> it is. <laughs> Okay, so, so I, us, I think we didn't really get to something that we were no we we established last episode, but that's kind of good because most of us didn't have our lists ready, and some of us kind of rushed our lists. So yeah. next episode we'll probably get to our yeah. top, or maybe not top five, our five, 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 songs? five of our guilty pleasure songs. Yeah, yeah five mm-hmm. guilty pleasure song. So you guys, <laughs> which, <laughs> which what have you guys been digging on? Maybe? Uh, Malcolm, so, uh, what's going on the table here? I'll, 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 Oh, let's see. I, I, you can do it. Hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's get someone else. Neil, right, I know okay. you always have something. So, like. for me, I've been digging on lately in the last two months, or yeah, last two months. Uh, I'm a pretty big, avid wrestling fan, and as a wrestling fan, it's a great time to be a wrestling fan because it's almost like the '90s again. What's called the Attitude Era. I'll just say. Like, there's a new wrestling promotion, and it's been pretty fantastic. It's a nice to have another big alternative than what's already been out there. So that's what I've been digging on a lot lately in the last couple of months. Now, are you talking, like, uh, what, I don't know what all the factions are. Oh, there. so, so the like biggest WWE. one, yeah, there's WWE. There's this next <coughs> this new promotion that started two months ago called All Elite Wrestling, mm-hmm. and it's the... <coughs> Most most wrestling promotions aren't quite as big as WWE in North America. Um, some of the bigger ones in the world are like international. So there's like a J- Japanese one, there's a Mexican one. Um, Canada doesn't really have a big one, mm-hmm. but this new one is like the next biggest uh, North American alternative, and they're not. One of the biggest selling points for it is it's not PG. It's uh, part of the reason it came about is because a lot of fans and a lot of the wrestlers have been very um, frustrated with the PG era. Oh yeah, among other things. But yeah, I'm trying not to go deep into it. But yeah, that's what I've been uh, digging into the last two months. Nice, nice. nice. Babe, how about you? Me. Go. I got Shoot. one. Shoot you. Well, one hundred and ten percent Mandalorian. All right, all right. But not even just because of um, the child. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> the golden child. <laughs> yeah, if you guys understand that the world is a different time, you're a Star Wars fan. You're totally with me on that. Disney and I'm excited Plus. about it. It's just so good. It's like really bringing the Star Wars back, right? Yeah, it is. It feels yeah. good. And I like yeah. seeing all the creatures and all the different um, characters roaming around from the original series and stuff. So it makes you feel like happy, like a little kid. And then, um, a band, a group. 
that I really like right now and that I listen to every time I'm in the car. And um, Krish actually okay. showed me. And it's they're called the um, the Uncluded. Yeah. And tell them who it is, babe. It's uh, Danielle Dawson. Yeah, and Asa Rock. And Asa Rock. Yeah. yeah. And I just love it. And I I always tell everybody like if me and Chris were like a combined personality, that it's like totally like if you stuck me and Chris's brains together, all of our songs would sound like this. <laughs> and I just love it. I love it so much. And um, so if um, you get a chance and you're looking for something new to listen to, um, listen to the Uncluded. And I'm really surprised that I've never heard it before. Right. I'm really surprised at myself. But it's fun. It was a fun find, and it's fun to listen to, and it makes me happy when I'm in the car by myself. And Kimmy and Dawson, she did the soundtrack for Juno. Yeah. yeah right? oh, she's so, yeah, totally adorable. So if you, if you like that acoustic tunes on Juno, the movie. And there's and there's Kimmy there's a song, Dawson. and it's all about sandwiches, which is yeah. like <laughs> the best thing in life, <laughs> is sandwiches. Yeah. So, so it's, 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 and then Christy Girl was like, this song, this that song is for you. you. <laughs> and I was like, it is. So it just makes me happy. So usually if you're getting a cake from me, I'm listening to these songs while you're, I'm taking your cake too. Awesome. All right. Nice. <laughs> Go ahead, Malcolm. All right. Mine's uh, combos, snacks from Cutlass. Oh, those pizza things you've been eating. <laughs> Dude, like, uh, they're, like, they're, like, they're like pretzels. And, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Some, one of them Cracker is like pretzels. pretzels. like a pretzel outside. The inside is like a sort of creamy, I don't know. Creamy it. flavor? Yeah, like it's cheese. Artificial flavors like pizza flavor or cheese flavor yeah. or seven layer dip flavor or buffalo wing flavor. And they're just little, little tiny bite sized snacks. Oh my god, yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're <laughs> amazing. Oh my I was god. there. No, for November, I was, I was uh, off meat, going vegetarian for November, and that was my main go to snack. <laughs> That's probably why I didn't lose any weight at all <laughs> in November. Because of those it's fucking combo with, snacks. Yeah, he's yeah. filling it with overproduced salty yeah, snacks. So I live alone too. Amazing. Sometimes miss. I just I'm like, you know, I'll cook it. I'm just gonna go to the corner store and grab <laughs> something from there. Corner <laughs> store. Yeah, it's a very unhealthy way to live. He <laughs> offered me some, but I told him that. My thing's combos. Combo. Nice. Nice. Gotta stick with cheesecake in the morning now. <laughs> <laughs> cheesecake in the morning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to bring you guys cheesecake. Right? Like, like I really do. Oh, my God. I have a whole bunch of stuff that we need to make up because we, we made a lot of cheesecake for that market. And then we have a bunch of stuff that we need to make up more like because we plan to make more. Yeah. So, I will help you make some cheesecake so I'll I can make some cheesecake. cheesecake. I know. <laughs> I keep talking yeah. about cheesecake with you guys. So yeah. <laughs> It'll happen. <laughs> it will. I guess me. Go. Uh, binging with Babbage. Uh, he's a oh, he's got a yeah. YouTube channel, and I fucking been digging the shit out of it. Uh, what he does is he goes and he does a uh, cooking show, but out of like out of pop culture. So he'll take like for instance. Uh, He'll take a TV show, uh, one of the ones that he does where it's, it's, a, it's a raccoon and blue jay. So the anime oh, show. Oh, regular um, show. Regular show. Yeah. And he'll he'll take uh, uh, a, food. a food from that show. Mm. And the, one of the ones was uh, a, an all-meat sandwich or all-meat burrito. Yeah. So it was all the meats you could ever fucking think of put into a burrito. Mm -hmm. So he did right? it. So he did this. Right. So he his, he's from New York. So he can go to a place where you can get some pretty fucking crazy meats. Mm -hmm. So he goes to this, he goes downtown to this uh, Armenian, uh, this Armenian uh, uh, market, mm -hmm. and then he buys all these fucking obscure fucking meats. I'm talking like alligator, cobra, oh. rattlesnake, wow. um, he's like a fucking water buffalo, like fucking just crazy, crazy <laughs> shit, I'm not crazy shit, right? And then he goes and he creates this all meat fucking burrito, nice. right? And then he. Taste, he, he tastes that, yeah, that's his thing, right? And yeah, he, he doesn't like, try it until he's not aware of how it tastes until he's done. No. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Right on the spot. And he does a lot of, it's like a right lot of popular spot, yeah. animated movies and cartoons. Uh, and, and movies, then, just movies in general. Movies in general. So he tried this fucking burrito and he was like, that was the most fucking disgusting thing I've ever eaten <laughs> in my entire <laughs> fucking life. Yeah, yeah, because, you, because he had like octopus in there and oh, squid oh, and oh, alligator yeah. and like, Pork and a bunch of other fucking meat. Have you guys ever done that in the kitchen? You like 
experimenting and they just go through sideways. Shit. Throw shit yeah. off the rail. Oh, yeah. That sucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it, oh, yeah. it's, it's bad. We, I mean, you have to try. You have to try. There was one. You have to fucking try. Yeah. But then he also showed he also showed you how to make your own fucking uh, processed cheese without it He being totally unhealthy. made this amazing grilled cheese sandwich. And we were just sitting there like, <sighs> <laughs> make grilled cheese sandwiches right now. Uh, and now but Chris, it was like, good cheese. Uh, it, was, it was like Gouda and and uh, yeah. Parmesan, and but it made it so that it he made it so that it was melt. Yeah, so yeah. you ripped apart that fucking grilled cheese. And you cheese, get that cheese. And that cheese. motherfucker uh, just fucking gooed out. <laughs> oh god! And I was just like, good god, good fucking god, it was amazing. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, fucking he did healthy. Fabulous. So if you like on what did he do ratatouille? Yeah, he did ratatouille. So he like created, any of those he created things. ratatouille. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And then he did he did uh, what inspired us to do our birthday party was we were watching him and he did uh uh pumpkin pasties pumpkin pasties from uh, uh they're like pumpkin hand pies. pies yeah from Harry Potter we made those for the party yeah yeah delicious no it's more it's like, like it's just stuff that you it's, like a, yeah like a turnover type thing. It's like a pie. Yeah. Uh, pie, a pie crust that has spicy pumpkin Flaky. goodness yeah. inside. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So he, he made you, that. You try to make them, you try to model them after the yeah. little letters that talk, right? Hmm. Is that what that was? Oh, we made the puff pastries, yeah. Is so, that what you're talking about? No, no, no. We made the letters. The one, it, was, the letters. it was the folded pie. Yeah. Remember? Kind of like a calzone? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. So that, that, that that's where we got the that. idea from. <laughs> it's a sweet calzo. <laughs> That's all right. We went through the whole menu. <laughs> we got there. We but got think, there. But yeah, definitely check out some some Benji Mufavish. Go go check out his YouTube page. Mm-hmm. All right, check it out. Let's see some good shit. Who else? Yeah. Nick. Um. So before I begin, uh, Monique Robinson would like to know those snacks again that you were talking about. Oh, they're called, they're just called combos, and they come in this little square bag, and uh, they're they're like cylindrical short pieces of like uh, cracker bite-sized and they got little fillings in that are flavored and okay you know, get like cheddar and or seven layer dead type of deal right and yeah they're fucking phenomenal they sound you're making me hungry <laughs> everybody's like <laughs> uh, okay yeah. terrace terrace uh cover mm. sides all yeah. cover sides 7-eleven Okay, yeah. that is Tony's. Tony's, yeah, Tony's. <laughs> I just seek them out wherever I go now. <laughs> when it uh, when it comes to my one thing I'm digging right now, it's something that's been around forever and it's just so simple. It's the bop it, man. They oh, came out with dude, a Chewbacca, Chewbacca bop it. Chewbacca, we saw it today. I know, I know. Is that not epic? Uh, like, I like Chewbacca bop it. I yeah. Think we had, uh, do we have R2D2? Dude, yeah. What is this? Elaborate. Okay, you guys know the <laughs> bop it, right? It's a little Chewbacca, Chewbacca figure. Right? Yeah. So you can bop his head and you can twist his arms. No, and no, it's right. Twist his head and twist then you pull his, his leg. Up, and pull his leg. So you would yeah. know because Greg yeah, would that. I was playing with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gonna pull this up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, bop it. Yeah. Pull it. Yeah. Pass it. Yeah. Pass it. So we're all doing yeah. But yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's like the we cr- screen savers too. So instead of it making the noise, yeah. like you record your voice and it's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Is that what the lightsaber did? Yeah. You saw those, they were right by the puppet. Yeah. yeah, so instead of cutting them in half, you're just screaming at them while you're poking at <laughs> this thing. Oh, what if it's like, 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 it could be anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, punch, right? Yeah. So. What if it was like that? <laughs> <laughs> Chewy Bob. Oh, wait, we'll Chewy Bob. Wow. Yeah. Well, $12. Wow. $13 <laughs> on that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yes. Uh, I know I want it because I can see I'm thinking of all these amazing things like, that have been like, so fascinating I, people. There's one thing that I really wanted to share since we're on the topic of Chewy. Okay, so with our kids, we started the whole Elf on the Shelf. Oh, yeah. But our version of it. We used to, we we have the um the watching Wookie. Yeah. So what it is is we have <laughs> we got a Chewbacca. We have a Christmas Chewbacca, mm-hmm. right? And we'll go put him around. Last night we put him on 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 Pollux's, uh, um Halloween costume, which was a house, right? And the house had lights. Best idea. Ever. Right. So yeah. it, the the house had like Christmas lights all over. Yeah. Right? So we wrapped Chewie up in the Christmas lights. Uh huh. 
And then we introduced him to Oh, his I thought that's how it came. When I was looking at no. the picture, I thought he had lights wrapped around him. Said, no, he does. Oh, no, he, he does. does. Oh, okay. Does. Yeah. But we have that. That's cool. Yeah. So then, and then we wrote the, you know, that Chewbacca's going to go back every night. He's going to go tell mm-hmm. So you got to move him around the house. Yeah. 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 So we're going to start doing that. So I feel like, too, like, if you guys have suggestions for the Wookiee to do things, tell oh, us so that yeah, we can do yeah, it because yeah, we want to do a new thing every day, just like I'm on a Yeah, I'll show them to your ideas on what to do with their little Wookiee, right? Yeah, dude, but let's what do was, it. But what was really fucking hilarious was we brought our son over to his babysitter today. Yeah. And, you know, there are other kids over there, and they're all talking about their elf on the shelf. And we were like, what's and your it, elf's name, you know? And then yeah. what did Paula say? He was like, I don't have an elf on the shelf. I have a Wookiee. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just like now I'm gonna do that. You know, I'm already here. I'll be swung on the wall. Something. You'll be t-shirt digging. T-shirt digging. <laughs> Shirt cocking. Shirt cocking. So I know when he's gonna go to school, and we're gonna be talking about their elves because today's December first, so all the other kids, their elves came out. Yeah. Cause yeah. It starts today. Yeah. And so everyone's gonna be talking about their elves and learning, and he's like, "Oh, I got a Wookie." Yeah. <laughs> and they're gonna be like, what's a Wookie? He's like, it's gonna be like, it's a, it's my Wookie watcher. My Wookie watcher. That's right. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. And then, okay, so to pull it back again with that, uh, one of the kids that that he he goes with, um, she was a a little upset (laughs) with her elf on the shelf. Because she found out what the elf does. She was like, she doesn't like her elf on the shelf because the elf on the shelf every night goes back and tells tells to Santa Claus about what she does and what, you know, sees what she does and hears what what she says. So she's she's not a big fan of him right now. Yeah, so we don't. But I think it's really cute and I have a feeling that. What was I saying? I was like, um, her mom's going to come home or come see the elf and the elf is going to have like a. Like something wrapped around his eyes. Yeah, he's gonna have a little bag. A blindfold. <laughs> the elf's gonna be blindfolded. <laughs> a little black sack. Because she's gonna like fucking terrorize it. Tied up with that little knife in his hand, hand and have him standing in the hallway type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> One time I'm pretty sure we had like elf in a shelf and we just put a, like a dirty fork in his hand <laughs> and then like like a half eaten meal beside him like on a plate. Easy, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's totally awesome. Easy. Cool. And like there's a whole there's a total like thing online where if you forgot to move your elf the night the night before, like what do you do? Yeah. And there's totally like different things that parents have done or come up with so the kids aren't like, What the crap? you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a whole you know who world out there. It's amazing. Uh, Lauren, yeah. Kids. Oh dude. She had some pretty creative stuff that she can do. I'm excited about it because I wanted to do it forever yeah. and then it just never happened or something came up or I don't know. Or we just forgot. So I'm excited because we're going to do it our way this time, yeah. and then it will be silly. So now you got to sit down and brainstorm 24 more. Uh-huh. Yeah. So 24 more ideas. <laughs> so yes. you guys ready? Yep. Rachel yeah. said her kid just glares at the elf now. <laughs> <laughs> that kid's going to kill the I'm elf. I'm not kidding. Gonna She's going to blindfold that elf. <laughs> She's going to throw part. that elf down a drain. Wake up one day, the elf's going to have no head. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Can't tell me now. Yeah. <laughs> How are you gonna fly now? Right. Yeah. Got no head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So guys, if you want to participate, um, do that, and then we'll send you stickers. So send us ideas. Send us what you dig. Yeah. All that good fun stuff. Email us. You know, send us messages. Inboxes. Inboxes. Inbox all of us. One of us is always on the Facebook account. So. Slide we'll if you do not want slide. your name slide to be talked, or we, if you don't want people to know your name and stuff like that, let us know. And then if you're going to message us uh, personal information and stuff like that, we'll talk about it on the next episode. And if you don't want, if you want to stay anonymous, you totally can. We'll do that. Yeah. But let us know beforehand because we'll give like us, go blabbing off. Yeah, and then, give us a nickname. Yeah, yeah. yeah tell, tell us, us, tell us to call you a superhero name or something. Right? Yeah. Happy yeah. yeah. to. <laughs> Whatever you want. Whatever. All right. Whatever works. So thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Yeah, Ooh, this was a tremendous episode. episode. There was a lot of participation in the chat rooms. Yeah, the call in. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, we tried to do it earlier and stuff yeah. like that because it's Sunday. Sorry, we're late. We can blame it on me this time. It's okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys were you guys were all fucking awesome. So you guys yeah. at the table. You guys. You, you, you guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. And all you. You. And all you're you awesome. Guys so many, everybody. And I'm sorry that my mic was so hot for the first half. Yeah, you're fucking. I mean, it's, as opposed to left a good where you can barely ever hear most of the time. We are right. doing a hundred percent. You're so not sorry. I'm not sorry. There you go. Oh, you're gonna hear is me next episode. All that's right. gonna be turned down. 
we're not even going to be here. It's just going to be Malcolm. Malcolm ASMR. No, we're just going to sit here and let Malcolm talk. Yeah. It'll be Malcolm's hour. Everyone's sleeping. So, you guys have a good week. Talk good to yourselves. Yes. Maybe don't talk to yourself all day in the mirror, but like, you know, yeah. say some nice things about yourself. Yes. Yeah. Say yeah. some nice things about other, other people. And most importantly, to yourself. Absolutely. Stay out of your head. Yes. So, go I drink some water drink some right water. now. Hydrate, get hydrate, up, hydrate. Go get a hydrate. glass of water. Go for a walk. Talk, talk, talk to a friend. <laughs> what, are your, what, are your, what are your neighborhood store? Buy some combos, drink some water. Combos. There you go. Or just start dancing. Or, or yeah. make an all meat fucking burrito. I don't know. Dance like no one's watching. Yeah, that's and right. And if you heard any of that, if it guns out, bonds out, man. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> Take some Good. Good. Dance like dance like, like your Buffalo Bill. <laughs> <laughs> <Dance> like <laughs> your Buffalo Bill. <laughs> On that note, right. good night, guys. Have an awesome weekend. See you next time. Fuck you very much. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.